Porch with your host, Laura Lee. And, and Manny Mueya. Today we have a very special guest. You probably have heard of her before. If you know Murder Mystery, you know her. It is Bailey Syrian. Thank you so much for having me. Thank we you for are, coming on. Y'all, we're Gosh, so excited. I'm so excited to be here. This we, has been years in the making, I feel. This has been years in the making, okay? We have wanted <laughs> Bailey on for so long. I have like messages and emails tracked to 2021. Shut the frick To being up. like, I would love to have Bailey on the podcast. Oh my gosh. I swear. Aw. It's really? insane. Uh huh. Bailey, mm-hmm. you're such a you, pro. I, like, I didn't know you guys knew this. I existed. To oh be my gosh. It's Bailey. so weird. Bailey. We don't live under rocks. No, but I have been watching you guys for so long because influencer world, you know, <laughs> beauty influencer. influencer. Uh-huh. I've been on um, YouTube in like since 2013, and like mm. you guys, you know, you guys were like leading the show. So I was watching you guys for a long, long. Time. God bless you. So I feel like, oh my god, I know you, but we've never met. That's so what she was like. Whenever I hugged you, you were like, oh my god, so nice to meet you. And I was like, what? I know. We've oh my never god, met. I've never met you, but mm-hmm. I feel like I know you yeah, from watching like your content for so many years. Isn't that weird. Oh, I feel it like is that. So strange. Oh, you know what I was thinking about time. today? It's kind of a what? random thought. But I wonder if influencers, when they have kids, are they going to be like nepo influencers? Hold on. Who will go? Hold on. That's the title of our video. Nepo. Nepo. <laughs> That's well, our I'm podcast title. About it because like Wait. the higher ups are having kids. Yeah, are they gonna like push them into the? I feel like they world? are. A lot of people make their babies have inf- um, Instagram accounts. Shut up. Yes, they do. Well, no, I've, I've seen, seen that. It's and kind of. It's it, a little it's, strange because the whole nepo thing. Strange. Not even the nepo thing. It's like I think that it's really weird. Family vlogging is very strange to me and that whole thing like we did a whole episode dedicated to like our family vloggers like the new parents that are trying to get their kids to act at like three years old and there's like no rights for the kids yeah it's Which really sad it kind of like is because they're gonna pocket all the money and the kids aren't gonna have any money but they have to vlog their whole life in Holly, yeah they have to vlog their whole childhood and life but in hollywood there are rules with that like you you have to give them a certain percentage mm-hmm. but that not off. on youtube but they're making there's more no money rules. there's no rules dude. i think that they no like rules, huh? they there's played no with the game of like right. creating rules but there are no rules it's so it's it's crazy. I don't like watching family vlogs I mean, like I, I get it. it but at the same time just let the kids have a life yeah a hundred, you know? right. the thing is like I feel awkward when you're watching like family vloggers and their parents being like yeah like today like he got bullied by someone and it's like why are you telling us like the most intimate things about yeah. your children's life like there's something very strange about that to me so i don't like that Mm-mm. like that's weird and, I, and then they turn the camera on timmy and they're like timmy tell <laughs> everybody you, <laughs> not timmy yeah timmy, timmy. Are, you're crying right timmy <laughs> oh or the you're th- gonna cry the right what they the say thumbnails timmy? cry for the thumbnail oh, God, oh. yeah no, it's crazy. It's like crazy. it's actually crazy. And that's why I feel so bad. Like we literally did a, an episode dedicated to it because we we're like, this doesn't seem right, and this is something that should be talked about because who's going to advocate for the YouTube kids? Not like because there's people that advocated for the actor kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who's advocate for like the children. Also, I get it. Like if you're a full time vlogger and you have kids, so they're just kind of like in, in it? it. But that's different than a family vlog channel mm-hmm. because Especially the you, ones that do it every day every oh day and then they oh. also like oh use God. the scenario like crazy scenarios with children mm-hmm. for their content titles and themes see now that is a whole it's, other, creepy. it's creepy i've seen some that that's were like a, that's a murder mystery for you <laughs> that, that, that. trust me i keep an eye I'm you like, know she keeps an eye out for selena who's gonna snap first who's gonna, <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna do it Dude, one of the kids I swear. That's so scary. It's true, though. I know. I, know. I can see that happening. But um, before, of course. Yeah, well, yeah. like, let's not put it out there. But, uh-huh. but it's one scary. does decide to go, you know, against their parents. Because, uh-huh. like, they put everything online. I could totally see that happening. And we will you know? be reporting to Bailey's channel. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Every I detail of what happened. And you will be covering it. it. be like, hey, remember that one? That one time level coverage? Remember that one time? We called that shit. Yeah. We sure did. Totally, totally. Okay, so peaks and pits. We do this every episode. I love that. Bailey knows that one. She okay? knows the tea. She's a full coverage watcher. I, I watch. I do. Because I'm so curious about the influencer world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know, like, I'm in it right now. Totally. I don't like calling myself an influencer. Um, but I love listening to your guys' stories about, like, the trips and all that. Yeah, Because I missed that. Yeah. That whole era of yeah. beauty influencer. On the brand So trip. I never got to go on one. I'm like, mm-hmm. ooh. Would you have gone on one? No. And will you I if they it. ask? I've been asked now. Okay, got and it. And I'm like, mm, no. Why not? 
You, I mean, I could list 10 reasons why not for you, but you you tell why not. I'd rather go on a vacation. Period. Mm. I don't want to go somewhere nice and have to work. Period. Then you you don't really get to enjoy it. There's Mm -hmm. obligations. You have to like present yourself in a a certain way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every every day. Yeah. Every day. Because there's everyone around you looking for something. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Then you got to be friends with everyone, and sure do. Yeah, sure do. We've literally, and, yeah. As you get older, <laughs> yeah. As you get older, like that, literally, My time. It, the peel gets less and less and less. It does, and it it it's interesting you say that because it sometimes whenever I talk about it to our audience, I never want to come across ungrateful. But then you mm-hmm. get someone who's never done like the brand trip route and is like, you still see the same things happening. It's not appetizing to you. So like, right. you, like mm-hmm. you get it. Like if you were in these shoes, you might would say no to like, it's not all the glamor that gets put online. You know, there's totally a lot more to it. Yeah. So. Well, mm, I just think it might be a me thing too. Like I don't really like to be around people like forced mm-hmm. groups. Totally. <laughs> you know, like being like, forced to be friendly. Yeah. In a weird way, you it's kind like of are. Fair. bugging me. Mm-hmm. That's very fair. I'm gonna go away. walk away. Yeah, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And that's all maturity. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's called just minding your own business. Yes. And I really suffer from that. Like mm-hmm. I like just being it's on my own. I've doing learned my own thing. the past five years I've really said I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna mind my business yeah. now 100% and I can it, agree yeah. more it's very peaceful over here oh it's so boring oh it is in mm-hmm. the best way though and I wouldn't change it mm-hmm. I wouldn't change it I love a yeah. little boring minding like, your own business I was so late to Mascara Gate oh mm. were you? I just learned about that and I was like mm. how did I miss this was she wearing a lash Bailey yeah, yeah. She- <laughs> Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on like, now. Look, I've done sponsorships for products that like, like a mascara once mm-hmm. long before that was not good, but I showed it. Like, look, this is what it looks like. I personally thought it. her lashes yeah. looked amazing before. With, before the lash. She should have just not done that. Yeah, like mm-hmm. leave it up to the audience too to decide, 100%. like if they want to buy it or not. Who gives mm-hmm. a shit? You're being mm-hmm. honest. Who gives a shit? Who you gives did a shit? what you needed to do yeah, for the who ad, gives a shit? and yeah. like. If this is what you do reviews on your channel or whatever, like, don't lie. You're gonna fuck it all for the rest up. of your career. It's never gonna go away. And, and now the same. that's it's just gonna they're gonna run with it. A hundred percent. You know how this thing goes. You've you been, been, you've been, you've been, been in the game. Just as long I've been as in have. the game. I still time. feel like I'm learning every day. We are because it's changing every day. And like, there's no outline on how to do this whole internet thing. <sighs> every day I'd be like, figure it out. I'm I don't know. <laughs> you know? It's like, true. They're like they don't come into fame and they're like in the like as a D list celebrity and been in the industry for years and then mm-hmm. they get famous. Whenever you're online, it kind of is like hot and cold. Like you just start and it blows up. And then mm-hmm. you're like this normal person that's just living life. And then all of a sudden you have this huge responsibility yeah. and this huge audience and totally. that's looking up to you. So I feel like that's why I and think a lot of responsibility. And gets so much shoulders. And you're like, I'm still trying to figure out this whole life thing. Myself. My life. Like, right. I still don't know what I'm doing. Like, don't look to me for guidance or mm-hmm. a role model or anything because I'm still trying to figure that all out. It's like yesterday so, I was an audience member. You know what yeah. I mean? And then you wake up one morning and you're like, whoa. Mm-hmm. I think about that all the time. I think about like me and Laura have said this in the podcast so many times. It's like, you guys, please do not look to us to be like the end all be all of anything. Like we will make mistakes. We will fuck mm-hmm. up. Like mm-hmm. we're talking about things, but along the way, like we're going to mess up all the time. Like we're not perfect. Like mm-hmm. we yeah. might have grown a lot over the years and things have transpired, but that doesn't mean we're not going to continue to make mistakes. So please don't look to us as like the beacons of like oh maturity mm-hmm. or the yeah. beacons of like oh they're never gonna do anything wrong because we will <laughs> no it's just hey, being we're a gonna human. fuck being up. a human it's human like That's i wish it, it just was across the board everyone believed this and mm-hmm. had more grace on one another <laughs> you know <laughs> like give it just uh, some grace give everybody uh, some uh, we're all just trying to figure some shit out right if you have repeated behavior that's inappropriate that's one thing there that's you completely go. a lot about your character uh-huh. there you go. completely different you know, situation it's like Fuck. One oh, time here and there, <laughs> chill. chill. We make mistakes. We yeah. make, you know, you have the best intention. Yes. At least, like, I do. Anything I post, always best intention. Same. Of course. And it's like, it sucks when it, it goes wrong way. that way. Mm-hmm. Or maybe, yeah. You know, I don't know. It's tricky. So. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't mm-hmm. agree more. I always have you. the best intentions. And then sometimes people are like, I saw it this way. And I'm like. I know. And you're hmm. like, well, I wasn't even thinking I of that. I didn't. That. 
Like you took that and went ran else. A completely different There's universe. There's something we say on the podcast, and it's like, oh my gosh, this came across. Well, and you're like, whoa, like, like that's not what we are trying to say at all. Especially because like it's us. Like we again, because like our podcast is so about like just our friendship, and it's just like mm-hmm. things that we talk about. And even some people will be like, well, I don't like when Manny spoke over Laura in that one instance. And I'm like, you guys, like that's just how we are. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know what to tell you. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's just our it's friendship, like, and like that's what the podcast is. It's about our friendship. Exactly. You know what I mean. Very yeah, friends that. talk over each other, and they do, and it's normal. It's normal. That's it's how conversations listening. go. <laughs> yeah, I'm an active listener. It's true. It's, it's true. true. It's true. All right. Well, someone give me a peek for the. Oh my week. god! Peek, 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 peek. I have peek. one. Can I start? Get, Peace, you please, please start, please. And I okay. I'm very excited because I'm working on a collab this year. <gasps> oh. the, yes, and I am like creating everything that I really. Um, liking so you're collabing with a brand if you will mm-hmm. is that what we would call it a brand sure. collab oh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't say who. of course of course, of course yeah but can we know what it no. is can't she even said, know that. Nope. Uh-uh, no. Not That's even that. Fair. That's I love fair. that. But it's coming in later this year. Oh, okay, my cool. God. Please, I would like to have it. Okay. Yeah. No <laughs> matter like what it, it is. I don't care what just it is. like everyone else, you can buy it. Um, <laughs> I just met you. <laughs> <laughs> she said wig. She's like wig. She said, I'm like, humble yourself. <laughs> <okay>? <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. couldn't agree more. I'll be buying. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lovely. And I would expect some stuff from you because <laughs> I am not on your PR be- list. <laughs> and she said, I will not be yours. All right. Okay, so I'm going to be a real talk audience. I don't know who needs to be. Like, they're not doing anything for me. <laughs> She's and I'll be sending it out. Oh, okay, and I'm getting I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm the <laughs> <district>. <laughs> Guys, we were just talking about this outside. I'm like, Haley, we want you to storm out like and, th- Pratt. and call her daddy. Mm-hmm. Like Spencer like, Pratt. You guys, I'm not on your PR list. I'm very upset by it. Well, Manny so has sorry. political reasons why he doesn't have one. <laughs> If you want to go ahead and tell I her, I do not have to. Oh, really? <laughs> do you? No, I, was like, I said oh, that very serious. She's fucking with me. I was like, oh, what do you do? I was lying. I was lying. She's fucking with me. Okay, so I said oh, yeah. my. Um, so collaboration. Boop. Love, um, love, love, love. That's amazing. How excited are you? Is this your first collaboration? Like, no. collab, collab, no? No, I did one with Ipsy recently. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes. They're glam bag acts. Mm-hmm. Yes. So fun. I, I love that. I had a really love great that. experience. And then I think I did another one that I'm forgetting. Okay. Mm. Love that. Love, you know what happens to me, too? She goes, not Wait, memorable. On, it's fine. It? I don't know. You know I got, well, we've been doing it for thing. years and years and years. Yeah. Things but you know what? Like, blur. Yeah. And they every blur time you together. do it, it's like exciting and totally. new. And you're like, oh my God, this is it. This is everything I wanted. Mm-hmm. And then the next time comes, you're like, this is it. This is everything I wanted. <laughs> yeah. So it's happened to me a gazillion times. I'm just thankful. I've for done like six collaborations. So. Honestly, mm-hmm. I can't even keep up with how many he's done. It's true. You guys so excited. What about your peak? My peak is I had a St. Patrick's Day party rager at my house on last friday oh fun sometimes i get like a wild hair up my ass and i'm like do i need to throw a party at my house for no reason mm-hmm. <laughs> sure so i did and it turned out great actually i haven't had a party at my house since like 2019 before covid yeah. so i was like i feel like it's time and like a lot of tyler's friends are from ireland they're they're irish but they're from ireland and they moved to la so we were kind of like inspired by that by saint patrick's day but because so many people, mm. but in Alabama, I used to always go out and get drunk and have fun on St. Patrick's Day. And everybody here was like, I've never celebrated St. Patrick's Day. Here? I feel like it's not a big yeah, thing. Yeah, in LA. Either. Oh, there's a lot of Irish in Alabama? Um, no, no. No, just like, just a none. drink, like okay, as a yeah. celebration. None. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Everyone's Irish for a day. <laughs> 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 Everyone's yeah, from Ireland. Like yeah. Where are oh. you from, Randall? Um, Closer to you. Do you know where uh, Temecula's at? Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Temecula. A hundred percent. I like no, yeah. I still know so many people from Temecula. Yeah. yeah, like it's insane. Like, um, Karen Sebastian, Tem- mm-hmm. Temecula They're area. Oh, yeah, Temecula. we used to work that. She Same worked the Mac. at Mac, and I worked at Sephora, which is so cute to me. I told it her is. you were coming on full coverage, and she was like, "Oh, I love Bailey. Did you know that we used to like know each other yeah. back in the makeup days?" I was like, "What?" But you know what's funny? You guys have a similarity to your makeup, like a slight similarity. Slay. Really? Mm-hmm. It's a slay. It's a slay. It's a slay. Because you guys just look hot. You guys oh, and your B. No, you oh, guys eat. Up the the makeup talent. I see a similar. It's just so funny mm-hmm. that she said that. I was like, I see it. I yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Karen's beat is always it's incredible. obscene. It is. It makes she me always, she un- just, real. Yeah, 
It mm-hmm. is. Whenever yours I see is her, too. I'm like, ah, me too. Yours is too. Yours is like your face is literally made for makeup. I can feel like there's faces that I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, you take a good beating. Yours yes. is one of them. Yes. Karen's is one of them. Uh-huh. And I mean, him we're like, <laughs> about ourselves, we're like, we swear, like, we're like, and that's it. And that's all. And that's there all. Is. And that's all. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was so funny. I was like, oh my God, we're all so lighting. But she loves you. I love her. Yeah, she's yeah. awesome. Um, but what was that? Oh, was and it wasn't a huge rage. It oh, wasn't like a right. hundred people, by the way. This it was wasn't. Like 30 was there a bunch of Irish guys there? Yes, oh, nice, actually. actually. <laughs> yeah. Irish guys. Uh-huh. And listen, there's one. Rounds. Listen, there's one there that there's you know one. I have a love for. You keep for. an eye out for. I keep an eye out for him, mm-hmm. and I've known him for years and years and years. And like he's Tyler's friend, but like there's always a little twinkle in his eye. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel there's a little twinkle, and I will send this episode to him, and he will watch it. And the time <laughs> stamp. You know, and like I'm gonna send the time stamp too. I'm like, listen, there's a twinkle. I know you flirt with me. He flirts with he you. He flirts with me, he- but he's straight. It's called gay baiting, though. Mm, I learned that term when straight Mm -hmm. men gay bait, which they do often for attention. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Gay bait, like pretending to be gay or doing gay things to get attention or money. So all of my gay friends explained this to me and I had the same reaction. I was like, they do. They Mm -hmm. are. And then I was scrolling on TikTok and I see these two straight guys doing a dance without shirts on kind of on each other. And I was like, oh. And then she said to me like, is this gay baiting? I was like, this is gay baiting. How do you know they're not just dancing? Oh, no, 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 Because then they have a link in their bio for their OnlyFans. Yeah. Um, And all the comments are calling them on it too. They're mm -hmm. like, you are gay baiting. You're You're gay baiting. Is that bad you know there's part of me is like i think it's weird and when straight guys are trying to get the gay dollar of like in the way of being like oh well we're gonna pretend to be because they never say that they are they never say that they're really straight but they never say that they're gay Mm, it's like this weird like vagueness to it even though you know they're straight because if you really did some research you just figure it out finally but it's very strange to kind of get them to pay you for things um, or get straight gay people to pay you for things. And it's just like, oh yeah, like I'm gay for pay. Mm-hmm. So there's like this very weird Here. thing to it. Yeah, it's like this mm-hmm. like really weird, vague uh, gray area of like gay baiting. Cause it can be very like, yo, don't be supporting these straight guys who probably say the F slur, who are probably have no gay friends, who are literally probably just like saying the worst things about gay people, but they're getting the gay dollar. That's kind of what it's about. Support, yeah, you know, totally. the gays. Support the gays. Like if you're gonna like, do that instead, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, totally. That's why. So. Is it, so is it, mm, is it comparable to like a sugar daddy? Like a woman being with a sugar daddy in a way? I, I feel like that's more like in your face. Like, you know what's going on there. Mm-hmm. Like in a way where it's gay baiting is a little more subtle. Yeah. And yeah, it's, they're it's, sneaky. It's, it's built oh. off it's of like sneaky. gray. Got it's it. built on the, the, the grayness of like not uh-huh. knowing. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, so are you are you gay or not? And they never answer. They never really say. They're just like wanting to make you think that they are. So you pay them for it. Wow. Yeah, it's very in- it's a very interesting world, which mm-hmm. I was recently opened up to. But once the, I was explained, I started to see it. And mm-hmm. like even like the young guys on TikTok and doing it. I was really? like, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very There's interesting. There's an audience for it. I'm going to send you one. I'm going to send you one. I'm yeah. like, just think gay baiting and watch this video. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get the gay baiting like, vibe. Oh yeah, they are pandering. Yeah. It's yes. like pandering essentially, pandering to a community. Yeah, it's pandering. Yeah. It's pandering mm. for the gay dollar. Mm-hmm. Not it. When you're in fact not gay at all. Yeah. Mm. You know? But so it's, it's interesting. But anyways, the party was Sucks. great. There was no gay baiting there. No, there wasn't. Going back to that, I'm like, yeah, I know. there was no actual gay, gay baiting. baiting there. I genuinely he's think he's a sweet guy and Such I live a sweet for him. guy. Such a sweet like guy. Sweet and he accidentally did kiss a little me on the, on the lip a little bit. He by loves the way. to kiss, but Irish people love to kiss. <laughs> Irish people love to kiss. It's true. But they, he kissed me on the mouth though. Uh, uh, that, with tongue? On the, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's like, we he made kissed out. Me like, so he kissed me like right here on the like the edge of my lip. Oh, I know and that. And our lips did touch though. I know that that sat with you. It did, and it still is, and I still have a chode from it. Uh, not a chode, <laughs> a chub. He said it, he said it. I met a chub. <laughs> I still have a chub from it. I have a chub from it, you guys, still. A chub? A chub, like Time. where it's like half hard, not yeah. really hard, but just like, yeah. oh my God. So my yeah. peak with just this there. party, I just me. keep going back to the no, party. Just, We're only four hours in, I'm like, so the party. <laughs> Team book party. <laughs> I went to bed at four o'clock in the morning because the last guest left at like three forty-five. I normally go to bed at eleven thirty. Um, if that, I would say even like ten. It, honestly, I was giving myself grace. Mm-hmm. I get to bed at like ten. Same. Okay, I'm 
I'm a tired wine. girl. Like, yeah, if we're getting crazy. <laughs> if we're getting crazy. You know, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I love sleep. Oh, oh yes. Or just like bed. being in your bed. Mm. Oh, anything. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, and I woke up without a hangover. You did not have. I a, did not have a hangover. I don't Which know what kind of karma I have on my side, mm -hmm. but I didn't have a hangover. I was did like, you get a little sloshed. I did. She did. I did. Mm -hmm. But you know what I always do, and this is like a rule for me: if I'm drunk, I'll eat a whole bowl of ramen noodles before I go to bed, mm -hmm. and it, I feel like it absorbs all the alcohol while you Probably. sleep. And that's been I, doing I that, that since theory. high school. The the bread the piece theory. Of bread theory. I know that's like a thing. So An maybe absorber. it's like. Of the it's alcohol. Like However, my husband woke up and he was still drunk. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Fucked up. That's yeah. the worst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it very violently yeah. hung over after <laughs> that wore off. Mm -hmm. So I was That's like, I, love it. I know. Like did you cook day. or anything or did you have food? I had a taco truck come out or uh, nice. what do you call it? A taquero. That oh, nice. mm -hmm. and a bar like I had uh, it's called Lime Drop. They'll set up a bar in your backyard and serve all night. So yes, cute. it's, it's so, so cool. convenient, mm -hmm. and they make all these cool drinks. So we hired them to come out because I was nice. like, let's just make this party easy and not deal with anything, mm -hmm. and then just do just that. show up, show up, mm -hmm. just show up. So it was really, really, really nice. Just to clean up at the end, and it's been raining non. Oh yeah, the next morning. Oh my god, <laughs> but, uh, like a frat house, but that's okay. I'm still finding drinks everywhere, and like Nick, like little crane nooks and crannies in my house. I'm finding like beer bottles and stuff, but. It was part of the party process, but um, <laughs> it's been raining so much in LA. I thought mm -hmm. I was going to cancel it. And we just got so lucky. It was like the prettiest day and night ever, mm -hmm. which Luck. why has it been raining every single day? I'm over it. I love it. I know. You, does it give you like Seattle energy? Like that, like cold I've never been vibe. to Seattle. But I don't know why I said Seattle vibe. Well, see, that, that is kind of Seattle vibe. Yeah. Like so like it's very that, like they're known for like very rainy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could live in this forever. I could see how that would mess with you 100%. For but sure. I love it because it's like a good excuse to stay home. And I love being at home. One, mm, like to be a homebody. Like, oh, I can't percent. leave. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my God, it's raining. It's There's like rivers outside. Which know? is true. There was a lot. There literally was There was like rivers, rivers. down the street from me. And I was like, there was oh a whole God. road closed by my house. Canoe. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I can't leave. Can't meet you. I've been snowed in, but with water. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a water day. <laughs> people in LA know. Like, they know. Like, the rain does different things here than in normal it places. It does. We're not built for it. We don't have infrastructure for rain. So mm -hmm. whenever there's too much rain, it floods up our areas unlike other places where they have, like, runoff. And there's, runoff like, no drainage and or There's something. no drainage. Yeah, there's, like, the drainage is it. bad. Yeah. We have bad drainage here. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. But I just know when it rains, it pours. pours. It pours. It, <laughs> <laughs> it does. So um, cancel everything when it rains. My peak is that we potentially are going to go to Coachella. Oh, you guys are. Yeah, potential. We have a potential. Oh, yeah, we have a potential on Coachella. It might be happening. Cool. Um, we have a prospect. We do. We what, have, prospect. have you ever been to Coachella? Mm -hmm. What do you, you think? Um, I went many years ago, mm -hmm. and at the time, my mom was dating the guy who pretty much owned, like he ran Coachella. Stop. Yeah. So, like, I got. I'm gagged. The most incredible tickets you could ever imagine, and I could go backstage, <sighs> on stage, front stage, You're like kidding everywhere. It was so oh my God. cool. And then like he would come and pick us up on his go kart and just drive us around everywhere. Are you kidding? I got spoiled. So then after spoiled. that, I went as like a normal, regular. Yeah, and I was like, this sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> You're like, I'm never coming back here again. No, because <laughs> there's all these like secret bars in the back. Oh and yeah, stuff, mm -hmm. you know, so you're not in the home in the artist area. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's like, dude, it's just, it's gotten so crazy. And mm -hmm. I don't like the whole, it's hot, I'm sweaty. Oh, it's that's makeup my looks like trash. Survival out there. Yeah, and then like you gotta be cute for some reason. There's like this pressure to be cute. Have to. Yeah. 100 I hate per it. cent. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. I, I wanna I see the music. The, the heat is what gets me together. Every year. The heat doesn't bother me at all because I you love, love it. You're a lizard. heat. I know oh. I'm a lizard. I am mm -hmm. a lizard. I love heat, but mm -hmm. um, it's just survival. The whole thing is the it's survival, survival of, the of, the of the fittest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Coachella is just like one of those things where you go and you're like, I know this is going to be hard. Like me and Laura, like <laughs> before. Sad. No, I know. And like Laura, me and like, sometimes I do it for like the experience just to be like, mm -hmm. you guys, just talk about it after. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, Laura, we're going into the fucking lion's den right now. I'm okay, like, we're going to. Are you sure? I was like, I'm sure. We're mm -hmm. going in. Let's do it. And so we, it's because we like like to do an episode about 
Coachella after on the podcast. Totally. Like content. the experience. I'm like, guys. you know what? We're doing it for like <laughs> the experience, but yeah. also for like content too. I get the best vlogs for my vlog channel, mm-hmm. the best content for my podcast, the yep. best TikToks for the get ready. Mm-hmm. Like I get so much content out of it. Sometimes I feel like I struggle whenever I... I would love to never leave my home, by the way. I am like a fanatic about that. Um, But I feel like I like lack content sometimes whenever I don't do anything for a while. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? And you're like, wait, I need to do stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, it's me on my bed again. (laughs) 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 Haven't showered in three days. (laughs) Not much happening here. My nightstand is covered with like (laughs) drinks and snacks. Water bottle. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to clean that up, you guys. (laughs) That literally. That's mostly what I Uh feel. Me Mm -hmm. folding my laundry laundry and making mm. my bed like mm-hmm. that's that's it for me because it's real it's like what i'm really doing i, mm-hmm. I see you guys thriving on tiktok we try we, you guys. we try, we try. i'm so you. intimidated by tiktok i don't know what to upload on there you're such a youtuber i'm very surprised by that because you're a video content girly yes, mm-hmm. you are so, mm-hmm. you know what like the thing about yeah. tiktok once i realized too is like because we are video first people all of us are mm-hmm. we actually have it in us to be able to create tiktoks and be fine like we can do it just fine. It's more so about like changing the format to go from a longer form like what we're used to to like a smart, more of a snap it of it where it's like just like even get ready with me. If I did get ready on my channel, it'd be 30 minutes. But on mm-hmm. TikTok, I'll make it two. How do I but make it's it the two same. Though? So I'll take out all the portions where I'm actually glamming and I'm just adding like one thing and I say like a snippet what I would say on my channel. And then I was, I was like, okay, cool. I'm, I'll come back to this once I'm done with the next step. So instead of it being like the whole process of all your makeup, you're like, I'm applying a, lip, a little bit of lip liner and then it ends there. Got it. So essentially it's like, you're doing the same thing in a much sped up version, mm-hmm. but it's still us. Like it's yeah. still us being able to be like, hey girl, what's up? Like we're getting ready real quick. Let's do this thing. Mm-hmm. But it's the same format. Like yeah. you could do the exact same thing, like a get ready, mm-hmm. but instead in like two minutes, instead of it being way longer. Yeah, I know. You know 45, what I mean? But I love talking. I yes. trust, trust and believe. Yes. You know, I'll like, be, I just I'll like do That's why we're podcasters. Yes. <laughs> because exactly. we love talking. Yeah, like, because we enjoy I'm it. Yeah, I'm, I like to storytell. Mm-hmm. Yes. Favorite you're thing. a and fantastic you're a storyteller. 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 You're, so wonderful. you're born Thanks. for storytelling. You are. For sure. Thank you. You really are. You're incredible. You truly are incredible. That's why I'm like, Thanks. go on TikTok too so I can see little stories. I know I wouldn't mm-hmm. want to do like little mini stories. Minis. But again, there's too much I want to say. Too much detail. I know. It's so hard. I'm like, they're wearing a purple shirt. Shirt, that's important. You're gonna want to remember. Like I can't cut <laughs> yeah, that. You can't. <laughs> you know, like, how can I cut that? No. It's purple. The weather. You know, like I, I gotta mention every. <laughs> we gotta start by the Next weather that know, day. What time I woke up? Breakfast. <laughs> yep. Then I get to the murder. Dude, <laughs> I feel yes. like I had to rewire my entire brain whenever I was like. At first, when I started on TikTok, I would just do funny, stupid shit on there because yeah. honestly, it's what I had the most fun doing. Because mm-hmm. I love humor. Like I love funny shit. So mm-hmm. like I automatically like to make funny content and stuff that just makes me laugh. But then I was like, okay, I need like build an audience here and like be for real for real you know Mm -hmm. what i mean so i was like okay so i feel like i had to rewire my entire brain in order to do it because i had the same approach i was like okay what am i doing what are people how are people doing this where because i'm a youtuber you know Mm -hmm. i'm used to sitting down for 30 minutes or an hour and getting a 30 minute video out of it Mm -hmm. so and at first signing up for tiktok it was all like 18 year old pretty girls dancing and i'm Mm -hmm. like okay this isn't for me that's whenever i barely uploaded because i was like there's oh, nothing for me to make here. No. 100%. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to like compete with 18 year olds. Ain't no way. In what world? Ain't no way. Are we competing with 18 year olds? They can't even compete with me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In what freaking world? That's what I thought too. I was like. I was like, I don't like this. Mm, like, but, is this for the younger people? Yeah. Like, let them have that. That's totally. Okay. Like, that's their thing. And we'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like it's become an everyone app. It has. And there's so many things. Like, there's a community for everyone now, no, there, which is why is. it's so cool. Yeah. Like, that's how it's gone. Like, I enjoy, for me, like, I love the funny stuff on TikTok. I like to do funny voiceovers. I like to do funny, like, kitschy things. I love to do pretending like I'm, like, You're doing some. Stuff. Sitting on fucking like trucks. Those. Yeah. I like that stuff because that's yeah. something I've never been able to do on any other platform. Right. So I enjoy mm-hmm. the fact that TikTok has created this avenue of, like, oh, like, this is something I've never been able to express to myself before on something that's else. That's true. That's a fun way to do it. Where it's look something it. different. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh, this is a different version of me. I love like that. I can have fun with it. And mm-hmm. like even me, like I talk, I like to do like little story times of like going on dates or like mm-hmm. talking about like traumatic it, hookup experiences on TikTok that I wouldn't talk about on my other platforms. You're not nervous of them seeing it? Part of me I is. I always wonder because he will tell the most detail and like right after a day, he'll come on the pod and like my biggest thing, I'd be like so scared. Like they'd you know, see it, like what they would think. And he don't care. I've thought about it. I really have. I'm like, you know what? They heard this, but I think that I've come to realize where I'm like, you know what? I would tell you to your face. 
Mm, bold and I like it. And I'm going to yeah. tell you, it's like, as I've gotten older, I'm like, I'll tell you now to your face. Whereas before I'd be like, I would run away and it would mm-hmm. never see me again. Now I'm like, yeah, I didn't have fun with this. And the thing is, I'm being respectful in the way of, I'm not telling your name. That's I'm not true. saying anything about you. You don't know who you are. I'm not showing your face off. Like this is my podcast. It's my experience. It's, I'm allowed to Maybe share whatever happened to me. you're humbling people. I'm humbling the girlies out here. They need to be humbled sometimes. Humbleina. Humbleina. <laughs> Humbleina comes to visit. Like Wait, that. that goes to my fucking pit, dude. T- t- right now. That goes right into my Let pit. So I think there's like this kid that is obsessed with me at the gym. I'm not going <gasps> to lie. Hmm. Spooky. Um, and Spooky or part of me, it's like <laughs> it was hot in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And I was like into it in the beginning. But I've gotten to the point now where so like I did actually a little story time on my TikTok about it where I talked about like how this guy would go to my old gym before it. I've seen him like a year straight mm-hmm. and I always like see him and just kind of smile and wave and like very like flirtatious, but never we spoke nothing. It was just like, mm. Mm. like kind of like a gym crush, but never really talking. I go to my new gym now. He's there. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is that's, crazy. That's like this never happens. That's true. So finally we actually like exchange words. I'm like, I can't believe like you're here. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen you for a year. And it's like, I know I've always wanted to talk to you, but never said hi. And I'm like, same. So we started chatting sweet kid okay. um really cool he's like let's go grab lunch upstairs because there's like a restaurant in the gym upstairs so i was like okay let's do it let's go grab lunch gym is and no, literally it's like t- it's too much it's a very nice gym um but we we're eating and i'm like so tell me about you like i don't know literally anything about you mm-hmm. and he's like yeah i'm 22 Ooh. i said spooky in what mm-hmm. in what world some people are into it. No, totally. And I understand that, but like, I'm not. So yeah. that's why I'm like, wait, in what world? So I was very confused because he looks my age. That's oh. why I was very shocked. Because I'm like, oh, wait, you're like literally taller than me. <laughs> you're like, you're not, not built than me. I'm like, wait, you're not in your 30s? Like, I am? I'm like, mm. what do you mean you're 22? So yeah. I was so gagged about that. And I'm like, okay, well, that kind of just like ended like my... Like, oh, like, this is so interesting and exciting. I'm like, oh, you're so young. Like, to me, I'm like, I wouldn't even date someone that's, like, younger than 26. Like, Mm -mm. uh uh-uh. I don't go to 20s. Absolutely In 20s in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. See, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it's it's tough in these streets. So (laughs) I was like, okay, you know, whatever. And then so I noticed he was wearing a ring. Mm -hmm. A ring here. Okay. So I was like, I was like, where'd you get your ring? It's so pretty. Not, you, are, you are such a I'm where, a poker you know that where'd you get your wedding band it's so pretty I was like oh my god your ring's so pretty where'd you get it I didn't want to say wedding band because I was like why it's on his ring finger I know yeah. but what if he's just wearing it for like the idea of being like oh yeah I don't want people to think to hit on me or whatever and he's mm. like oh yeah I'm married and I'm like <laughs> you're married how'd you say oh wait he said he's married I'm married oh oops and I said you're at married 22? at 22 yeah, years at 22. old that was also another spook in general it's so crazy we were just talking about alabama people get married at high school and here listen to all of us 22 married shook, we're like shook, oh. shook. and i was like mm-hmm. 20, i was like you're married and he's like i was like oh like why'd you ask me out then because they essentially like you you asked me to on a date like yeah. it's not like you were not and he's like oh this is the part that really gagged me and got Uh-oh. me together he goes oh well my right hand's free got it Bold. It's, Bold. It's giving 22. It's giving 22. <laughs> it's giving 22. I don't know That's about weird. you. No, but Wait, it's did you say that. I do know what I was saying, but I'm not going to say it publicly. <laughs> do, you know do you know his first and last name? <laughs> I would love to I look sure him up. I sure um, do. And I want to tell the podcast. But I will be showing you a photo of him after. Do you have his address? Yeah. <laughs> do you have his so, the mother's is, maiden name? No, right. Card information. Uh, uh, what's it, the social security? <laughs> um, so now when I see him, he's very like, yesterday I was working out with a friend of mine. I'm not the type of person that likes to work out with a friend. I don't, I want to yeah. do my own thing. I want to hang yeah. out. But he was there. So I'm like, oh, hey, like let's kiki and talk. He was just filling me on his life. The guy that I went on a date with, saw me and he comes up to me he's like hey i thought you didn't like to work out with people because i had told him i don't like to work out with people Ew. and i was like it felt so uncomfortable so now i'm like he's like yeah what happened like i thought you didn't like to work out with anyone and he's like looking at my friend i'm like well this is like one of my best friends who was it um that you were working out yeah with? i was with z oh, uh-huh, i was with okay. z so i'm like this is one of my best judies um and i don't know what to tell you <laughs> I don't know what I was like because I was very surprised. Like I would, I didn't expect to be like confronted like in that way. But like I thought you'd like to work out with people. Mm-hmm. Like trying to catch me up almost in a lie because he wa- he's asked me to work out with him. I'm like, no, I'm not really into it. Which I'm not. I didn't plan to work out with him. I saw him there and I was talking to him. Right. So I was like, yeah. it weirded me out. And so now every time I see him, he'll like he'll text me and he'll be like, hey, I see you. And like, have you told him that you're things. not interested? Not yet. Okay. This literally just happened to me yesterday. Oh, okay. So it's like super fresh have now you that slept I'm like with them at least. I'm not. Do you mm. want to? I wanted to, but He's now right. I'm 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 oh, put but they're open. True. 
I found out they're open. Like he told me, he's like, oh, we're in an open relationship. Does she know or he? he I was about to say, I was about to say. They say that literally, but I was like, I think he knows. I'm not sure. Um, but now that I'm so like turned off by his personality, I don't feel like I want to hook up with him anymore. No, because he'll come stalking your ass. Literally, I'm like, what like, if like, Remember when he slept with me that one time? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't even want to deal with that anymore. Like we've, nah. we've made out. And that's as far as we've gone. Which, and I'm like, this could all make for a really good murder mystery at the end of it. What if he, kidding. dude, what if he tried to kill me? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> You're like, you know, the investigation continues. You know, we'll know. No, we'll, we'll know. Follow we'll, follow we'll follow up. up. I'm going to follow yeah. up with you. And Laura actually will, because I'll be dead. Yeah. I, I, I'll follow up. We'll okay. be in touch. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very like weirded out by it and now like since this literally just happened to me yesterday and today i Why saw him he come to the new gym did he tell you no he was there actually there before i was you didn't ask mm -mm. oh so maybe he thought you were coming to that the imagine he must have no i don't, I don't want to think that he's like actually like a stalker Ooh. but i, I am this. weirded out by the whole situation at this point totally like i'm weirded mm -hmm. out by it and he keeps asking me to like do things and um before before i felt uncomfortable with him and i'm like i don't want to go on dates with you when this is literally going nowhere why why i want to keep doing right this now hey let's go ahead and get this conversation get him on going. the line yep get <laughs> I'll call it. Uh, on speaker <laughs> yeah. so listen so, it's not gonna work it's not me. and don't come up to me at the gym anymore yeah. i canceled your membership I, for you. <laughs> I actually know the owner of the gym <laughs> <laughs> you can't go anymore yeah. so uh, yeah so now i'm like kind of like uh so i have to tell him Maybe you should go back to your old gym. No, this one's way nicer. You're like never gonna, are you not going to ever go back to the I old I will, because the thing is, I have that membership for the whole year still. So I, oh, like, I'm like, shoot. Fuck. I, I bought, the, I bought like, the whole membership for the year <sighs> in the beginning of the year, because I didn't get to apply discount. to this gym. And I didn't get in during January. I got in during February. So I'm like, Apply for ah. what? To get, is it like, like in a bougie? It's a bougie. It's a social gym? club. <gasps> social club it's gym. It's a social club. Mm -hmm. Like Soho House. Yeah, it's very that, but gym version. Wow. So I got in, but I'm like, fuck, I already paid for it. Yes. I like the gym where all the uglies are at. <laughs> I feel like I belong. I won't even leave my house to go to the gym. I'm just the garage. I won't even go like, that yeah, far. I'm like, all in this together, you guys. <laughs> You're so stunning. I'm like, do not no, 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 no. Uh, But like, you know, when you go to those like really fancy gyms, everyone is so good looking. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I don't even, well, for me, I don't even really want to work out because I feel like. Are you judging me? Yeah. Totally. And like, I don't know. Uh, am I doing it right? I don't know. Totally. Yeah. It's pressure. for a long time. I felt like that when mm -hmm. I would go to the other gym, but now that I know how to work out more and like, I've gotten yeah. more accustomed to working out. Now I feel like, Oh, when I see people that are amazing looking, I'm like, Oh, I'm inspired now. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. you know what? Like I want to push even harder. Cause I'm like, that's a goal of mine. Mm -hmm. Now I want to reach that. Whereas before I was like, fuck dude, I don't want to go to the crying. gym. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Like I can't even lift like 20 pounds. Yeah, I know. Like, no, that's me. Like I'm embarrassed I by it. I also have very awkward mannerisms. Like I've so. even had literally people on the podcast be like, oh wow, you're really awkward. And I'm like, yep, oh, I You am. don't have awkward I mannerisms. I do, I do. Like I dance. I you're just quirky. Have awkward, quirky. 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 <laughs> so awkward. Yeah. So awkward. Way. I do. So like whenever I move my body, it, like I film myself, of course. And I'm like, mm. wow. <laughs> Oh, Remember when like people in your dance were like low-key bitches about you working I, out? Because again, it's that thing where you're like, I'm not doing it right. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not doing it right. Yeah, so yeah. I, I thought I'd be like a cute fitness girly for like three hours. Like that had this like dream. I was like, I've had this dream. It was a short-lived dream. It was very short-lived because I posted myself doing some squats or something, like a little IG video just for mm -hmm. IG stories. And I'm like, I'm in my fitness girly era. The amount of <laughs> Oh, no. that came in that oh. just wrecked me yep. and i was like is everyone out there a fucking personal trainer <laughs> they're all pros <laughs> they're, everyone's a pro and i you was suck. like i literally yeah. was like i it, to this day i have not posted myself working out you haven't to squatted this to this day. day i have not squatted <laughs> my legs are made of just bone thanks a lot guys yeah. a lot. Trauma. i tried uh, literally trauma, though. That is trauma. Go to the gym i i'll do i go to high yoga which is in person but it's so dark in there too mm -hmm. and every, you're shit. just focused on survival in there mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's definitely not about anybody else but yourself in there but i don't go to any public gym and you mm -hmm. won't catch me mm -hmm. you won't catch you won't me catch me there. yeah me neither you're not gonna see but like being single everyone's like you do you need to go to the gym 
That's where I he don't meets everyone. Meet, I meet a lot of guys. Are there. you single? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. be meet a guy in the gym because then he likes to work out. Mm-hmm. And you're not really. And you don't really want to. I'm going there to meet a guy. <laughs> I don't want to work out. If I'm at a gym, I'm there to meet somebody. I'm not like there to work out. No way. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit of both, I think. No. Yeah, you do both. I'm a mixture. Do I both. do like to work out now for my, my mental capacity. I mm-hmm. like working out. But I do also love the social aspect of it, too. Totally. Like when there's a lot of gays around, I'm like, yo, what's up? And we make a lot of friends. I would be really bad off if I was single because I feel like I'd be very shy to talk to Sucks. someone. And like if someone hit on me, I'd immediately be like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, Plus, I don't. Well, because I was in a relationship for mm-hmm. eight years. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, and then we broke okay, up. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's been a year now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh I kept it's it like fresh. very hush. I didn't really yeah. say anything. Realize. Yeah, because. What I, an adjustment in life. Just because you were with someone for so long it must have been just like an adjust, a big adjustment. It was so big. We yeah. lived mm-hmm. together. We share everything together. Yeah. I mean, it was just everything had to change. Totally. A turn out, like a boom. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It was like, I didn't say anything because I didn't want anybody to think there was. Everyone assumes there's a bad person. Of course. There has to be, right? And it's yeah. like, there really wasn't. It's just. Mm-hmm. People grow. Yeah, and they can grow apart, too. After eight years, it's yeah. like, people can definitely grow apart after eight yeah, years. and I love and have respect for him as a part. Like, I have nothing bad to say about him. It's mm-hmm. just we didn't work out. Yeah. Like, totally. Like, so, um, but I didn't announce anything. So, I've been single. i just kind of been on the dating apps here and there. Playing nice. around. Mm-hmm. Just, I don't know, trying to dip my feet in. Totally. Yeah. Like, I just... It's so different now. It is. It, <laughs> it is. It was like it eight is. years ago. Yeah. yeah. Like, I can't, I don't know when somebody's hitting on me. I, I feel like anymore. I would be very that. Like, yeah, be, I feel like I, I, no I already These guys are like trying to be respectful now. Yeah. And I, which is lovely. Great. Which is lovely. We like respect. We loved. That's but it's right. also, there is like I a do discrepancy. Miss. I do miss like the cat calls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't mm-hmm. get that as much anymore. No, mm-hmm. I welcome all cat calling. <laughs> and I also welcome that? cat calling. Yeah. Any oh, I consent calling. to all. Of I also because I've never like if been. Cat I called. look good. Let me know. <laughs> like, Please. Yell it. Let me know. <laughs> Please. I want to hear it. Let me know. You know what's yeah. annoying? Whenever a guy, I personally hate when guys try to hit on me because I'm obviously married. So totally. I'm like, just get the fuck away from me. But guys don't hit on me often. They actually never hit on they me. Do. Only gay guys tell me I'm no, pretty. They sometimes hit on me. I'm like, oh my god. I've, I'll take I've it. been around Laura when a lot of men have been like into her, and I can tell because I'm the bestie. So I'm like. Maybe I'm oblivious. Don't try me. I you're could oblivious. Be a little bit oblivious. You're oblivious because guys be looking it. at her. Yeah, because I think when you're in a relationship so long, you don't. Notice I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. or like what they're trying to do here. Guys yeah. be buying you desserts when we're and you're like, eating that's dinner. True. That's true. They're <laughs> yeah. sending like, desserts to her, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, then that's much my channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm always like, thanks, B. I'm enjoying this. It's lovely. <laughs> Literally. It's true. It is oh true. It I is love true. that. That world is so foreign to me, though. Like the dating world and the yeah. hitting on world. Dating's rough, dude. It is rough. Dating and in because like, I don't go to a hell? gym, I don't know how to meet anybody. Right. I'm at the library trying to look cute. Like, <laughs> Pulling books like down, dude. And like dropping books. Anybody oh else? Abandoned snap for yeah. the books. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it's dry in the library. It's dry at the library. Like, yeah. Okay. I've been to the grocery store looking at avocados. Grocery is also very like grocery, spot. I feel like grocery I store could be a good avocado. one. The melons. Mm, yes. Anything? No, nothing. no nothing. biters at the grocery store. Nothing. All right. No w- couple bars. Nothing. Bars are, are so decent. So I'm on like all the the dating apps, which is cool, but mm-hmm. no. Everyone lies about Raya. their age, and about their height. People do about... not look how they look on these apps. I mean, no, sometimes I worry. <laughs> I <laughs> too. Me too. I I like, don't too. look me up or anything. Okay? No, same. <laughs> same. Yeah. I worry all the time. I'm like, I'm not as tan in this photo. Mm-hmm. Catch me on a self-tan day. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the guys that you've talked to have been, been fine. drastically different, too. And, and also you've been like different. shocked. And they've got me yeah. together. Yeah, I've been catfished many a time. He's been so that many scares me. I would also catfish people too. like obvious catfish, or it's like they uploaded an old photo. Old cat- photo. Okay, I've, I've done, also I've been catfished where it was like it only means me one time where I showed up and like it was a completely different human being. Shut up. Swear to God, I love that. Well, I told you, I was, I was like, how like I answered and it was a woman. <gasps> What? In yep. San Diego. It happened to me in yep. San Diego. Yeah. Where I answered, like, I had went. It yep. was, I was talking to someone on Grinder, and he's like, show up here. This is the time. And I was, like, sending me photos. I was sending him photos back. I show up there. It's also, like, midnight. And, like, mm-hmm. I go to this house, and I'm like, this is the door. And I knock on the door. No answer. And I look back at Grinder, and I'm blocked. And I'm like, whoa. What the fuck? Why am I blocked off Grinder? Like, I'm literally meeting up with this guy here. A woman answers. She's like, hello? And I was like, hi. Um, I'm looking for, like, 
this person john i don't yeah. know whoever and he's like no one named john lives here they just sent him to the house what and yeah. i was like whoa isn't that crazy and i didn't know if it was like are you sending to his house or like are you with someone like are someone like playing me here like i was very confused so i left and i was like is she lying to me like was she the one messaging me or was it potentially like someone that she's with here messaging me That's i don't so even scary. know to this day that is so this scary. is literally like seven eight years ago i'm like and ever, I remember after that, I was like, I'm not going to do like random hookups like this for a long time. <laughs> scary. So I was scared. I was like, That's am really I going to get abducted? Your craziest stories come from your random hookups. They do. Mm -hmm. Because they're like, you know, in the gay world, sometimes I want to fool around. The witching hour. And I'm, the witching hour happens and like literally like it's demon time sometimes. It's demon time. And it got me. It got me together. No, okay. for sure. Being you have to be adult. careful. Of course. You have to be mm -hmm. careful with it. And so I'm, I'm like, mm, you know, like. That happened to me like the eight years ago it did when I lived in San Diego and I was like, I don't think I'm gonna That's I'm gonna scary. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get voice notes, I'm gonna get videos, I'm gonna get more now. Like yeah. I don't just like do go off of like a photo here and there. It's like, oh, we're gonna meet mm. up in some capacity. You're gonna send me a photo, you're gonna send me a video, something, voice notes. You're gonna be real. Something. I've been like so dumb. I'm just like, whatever, I'll meet you. I don't even know who I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm like, just find me. <laughs> I'm here. You'll I'm here just like me because I don't know what you look like. like. I don't even care anymore. I'm like just mm -hmm. trying to go out to figure out how to talk with the heat. Just 100%. to start. Yes. Yeah. Just to start. I'm like, what do you went to? I would be nervous to go so on a date. Are you? Would you be nervous? Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I yeah. would. I'm Have you been on some dates yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, good for you. And how have they been? Um, have they been lovely? No. Um, oh. um, what? Oh. Uh, there's been some. You're getting your toes in the water. Yeah. yeah there's been some weirdos. Yeah. Oh, sure. definitely. Right. Yeah. Or guys with a lot of baggage. But I have a lot of baggage, too. Totally. Yeah. Baggage, we can, depending on how bad depending the baggage is. Depending on what is, it is. We can look past some. Yeah. Like, but like. 20 pounds, 30 pounds. Not that kind of bad. <laughs> I know. I'm just thinking in the head. Like, we're not getting to 50, oh, but, you yeah, know, 20, yeah, yeah. 30 yeah. pounds. Yeah. No, just, like, one guy had, like, kids and stuff, and he lied about it. Which oh, I that is about. very Red weird. Flags. Yeah, he's Red like, flags. I knew you wouldn't like me if I had kids. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want kids. Then why? Yeah, right. So yeah. I was like, uh, then why did you lie? They're not going to go yeah. away. No. <laughs> and then I've had, like, one guy who was a fan. But he oh. didn't tell me he was a Spooky. fan. Spooky. No, 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 no. Yeah. In, like, mid-date, he told me, like, oh, I know who you are. Like, my whole family wants you to see my sister's obsessed with you. And I was like. It spooked you. It spooked oh, me. I uh -huh. It really did. I, been out of I was there. like, it's happened to me too, dude. What am I supposed to say? Because mm -hmm. you were acting like you didn't know oh, me this whole time, so which is course. even more creepy. They've done that to him so many times. I'm so I... gagged right now because I don't ever get to hear like this happening to other influencers, no. like especially like definitely not girls. Like I know all of my friends like tend to like have men, like mm -hmm. they're all dating. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this happens to you too. Like this, this happened is to me. Crazy. It was. It was it's like, scary because you feel almost like, well, you just bamboozled me bamboozled and also i'm not sure what my reaction should be mm -hmm. yeah you know like first of all he lied for the first half of the day mm -hmm. acting like he had no idea who i was so and see that's weird it is weird, weird but he was like what does that upset you and i was like it's kind of weird okay, he's like why and i'm like honest i'll circle back with an answer i don't <laughs> know sure. yet it's just making me feel well weird. if like <laughs> let's say you guys are chatting on the app and he's like by the way i'm gonna be honest like i do know who you are online yeah cool like we, yeah. you, you never acted weird. You never acted like you didn't know me. Like you were mm -hmm. upfront about it. So then, it like, gets that weirdness. But like chatting, going on a date, acting like you didn't know, and then just out in the and middle of the day. In the middle. That's when After it gets two weird. Beers. He yeah. Tells me, I'm like oh. Oh, the, the he that's got weird. the liquid courage and loosened up. Yeah. I went out with him again though. <laughs> She's like, we're dating, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what man. I'm a step beside him. <laughs> he's a little weird. But and you know what? He's, he's he's on his way. He loves me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still went out with him again. Um, I'm just. Trying I tend to, to not like... go out with people that know who I am. Mm. Oh yeah, Never. I don't really prefer it. Mm -hmm. But I really wanted to get to know him for on sure, a personal on a level. very personal but level. But he wasn't taking my cues. Oh, oh god! Yeah, because yeah. he was a fan. He was so excited. To I meet know, you. but it's actually like better they didn't. Because if he was a fan and I would have slept with him, that would have been stupid. It just it but I does make it very. <laughs> but you would have. But it makes it He's strange. He's right now, like damn. Yeah, <laughs> it no, makes I it very gave strange. Him a chance. Yeah. I was like, he walked me to my door, and I was like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> like it was so nice going out with you, and I was like laying on like my door. Uh -huh. Yes, you were giving a little like. Mm -hmm. And it was just like I had so much fun. Like waiting for him to lean in and kiss. Yes. Yeah. He gave me a one armed hug. Ew. What like, that? it was nice. Have a good night. And he He's out like, of there. pound it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big <laughs> <job>. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
I was like, all right. So I lovely. You're like, we're done here. I wasn't sure. Maybe I wasn't. But it's fine. But I haven't seen him again. I have another date this week, but I might cancel on him. Good for you, though. Mm. Good for mm. you for getting to this thing going. I'm glad going. you're about there. Yeah. I'm trying, but I really don't know how to label myself mm-hmm. like on these apps. I just put that I'm in marketing. That's what I would say. Laura, you know I do that. That's what you, you do. do marketing? I, I do marketing. Oh, good. I work yeah. in social media marketing. Oh, That's yeah. what I mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. Me too. And so. I just say marketing. Yeah. So the, and the reason why, because obviously I've been single like my entire career and doing the apps, like I don't like when people have a preconceived notion of who I am. From mm. my social media. This is Hold why on. I don't like when people, even mid conversation, they're like, hey, I know who you are, by the way. And I'm like, cool. It's been so nice knowing you. Like, mm-hmm. I don't like that because I don't like you knowing so many things about me yeah. or knowing what I do, knowing all these X, Y, Z. Like, even on a date, I've been on dates where the guys are like, I know. And I'm like, don't tell me I know. Yeah. Like, pr- even pretend to not know just so that I don't feel so uncomfortable yeah. on this mm-hmm. date. I feel mm-hmm. so vulnerable. I feel very vulnerable. And I'm like, dude, it's I feel like, like not uncomfortable. Fair too. It's, it's not, not fair. Because I know everything about you. Yeah. And, you know anything, and I don't know anything about you, but you know all these things about me. It takes the fun out of learning each it other. Does. It does. But then we also put ourselves out there. We do. So. It's, I mean, it is, it is what it is. It's part of it. I mean, my audience is literally 91% women. Yeah. So I know it's not too often that it happens for me. Me too. Because I any men me, really. like, me dude, either. like it doesn't happen like Unless i don't have a lot a sibling literally something. that's watching but for the most part like so you far, no one die hard like, like male audience no. now Mm-mm. hopefully no one else knows but also it's la where i feel like it's a lot of opportunist <laughs> big time so when they so do you have find to look out, out for that yeah too. it's mm-hmm. just another layer of like a thing you have to look out for i was on a date and the guy asked me afterward if i wanted to do a collaboration oh my god <sighs> wow Wow. So do you yeah. want to clap for our channels? Yeah. And I was like, you have a channel? I didn't know you knew who I was. Yeah. The one la- one guy I went out with, he's a podcaster. And I was mm. like, shit. That sucks. Because I know what he's going to ask me. Uh-huh. And, like to come on his podcast or whatever, give him tips. <gasps> oh, my God. And he sure did. <sighs> and our date turned into me giving him tips on like what to do with his podcast. And I'm not going to say no. I'm a nice person. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. right. So I was like, all right. Yeah. 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 And he's like, yes. can we hang out again? I'm like, Never again. Yeah, yeah. It's better just the, at that point. But like that sucks. Yeah. You don't want to be put in that situation. Wow. Like what? What the hell? Mm-mm. Where do I meet them? If you're out there watching this, just let me know. <laughs> just let us know. <laughs> where is. do you, Where do you guys meet your people? Yes. For if you real. Have, like you're a single. Single friend who looks like Tom Hardy and doesn't have. <laughs> Ooh, kids. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is a. Uh, is that hot your type? Ten. Tom Hardy. Oh yeah. Ten out he of ten. Is Boy. Tom Hardy is like what's your favorite Tom Hardy type. movie? Uh-huh. I mean, um, there's probably a dozen. I don't even have one. I love him in the one even... with their three brothers, and their um, Shia La- LaBeouf is in it, mm. and they're like doing all this crime. Rap do you remember his box. MySpace days? <gasps> I don't. What? No. I do. Me too. I do. It's That's so when I fell like in love with him. <laughs> it's so almost like gay <laughs> like, me. My favorite movie so is he's so my, gay. Oh he's yeah, so gay. Okay. the gay photos. Well, he's, photos? he's also done a lot of movies that are like not all like manly Full men. Full frontal. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love it. Do you like a soft? Boy, like a soft feminine, or do you like a masculine? Like, do you I like depending a man? A man, okay. man. Okay. A that's what he wants to me against the wall. I do too. Yeah, tell me what to yeah. do. Yeah, I was recently telling my friend she consent. dated with, a real with consent. Of course, yes, of course. But tell me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had dated like a short king, and she was just like, Meh. I was like, you want a man to pick you up and throw you? She was like. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want someone much, much bigger than me. They mm-hmm. can just manhandle me. I love an alpha male yeah. as much as like a lot of them are very toxic. But there's totally. some good oh, alpha there males out there. 100%. 100%. You know men who have those like broad shoulders? Yes. Thank you. The upside down triangle. <laughs> He's yes. like, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I totally yeah. know what you mean. <laughs> shoulders no, but I'm so the broad. same. Way. Yeah, you putting it out there to the universe. We have to put it out there. Mm-hmm. Manly men, mm-hmm. come to us. Manly men. Hi. Hi. Okay, what's your peak for this oh, week? Yeah. Pit. A pit. <laughs> pit. Where did you do this? <laughs> um, my pit is that I'm having an issue with Spanx recently. Ooh. Like I think I have a mm. fat pussy because I keep I keep peeing my pants. I <laughs> peed my pants. Are squeezing it out of you. Oh, you know how there's a slit. Right? Yep. Where? Yeah. In the crotch. In the crotch. So you should go open. to the bathroom. Uh huh. Without You're pulling supposed them down. to be oh able to just go to the bathroom. With Spanx have, mm-hmm. they, they have, have a slit. slit. Yep. I thought you meant your pussy has a slit. That does well, too. My dad has too. a slit. That has one too. But the Spanx do, so you could, t- just you know, sit on the toilet and go to the bathroom. The, yep. Well, I keep peeing on, like, I'm not getting it out. 
<laughs> oh, the the pee? The sphinx. No, I'm oh. peeing. I don't know where I my I don't know what's happening, but there's a miss where I'm peeing on my sphinx. Oh, me Instead every single boom. time. That's you because do. whenever girls pee, it's like pss- Yeah, like where is it going? Like, you never it's just know. exploding out mm-hmm. of you. And then there's just a little split for your sphinx. So I don't know what the engineering oh, on that was supposed mm-hmm. to be. Me neither. It's but a I very keep tricky world. Peeing myself. Like, oh, but like I did a lot to where I was wearing light colored jeans and my butt was no. soaked. No. Shut up. It sucks. Shut up. Do you yeah. wear Spanx or Skims? I wore Spanx. I've been wearing Spanx. I can't bring myself to buy Skims mm. because I don't know if it's worth it. I love Skims. Reviews are very. I've bought. Could be. An absurd mm-hmm. amount of skims. You're an actual like skim stand though, because really? you actually why? Like why do you it? like them? They're so good. What's so good about it? I wear. Sell me. I do not wear any underwear that aren't skims. I do not wear any mm. bras that are not skims, and right. all my spanks are now skims. She did it right. She has the loose fit cotton underwear for your days where you want to wear granny panties. Mm. She has the stretchy thongs that you can't even feel that you're wearing, but your really? coochie can breathe because of the material they're made out of. So you don't get like yeast infections or whatever comes from wearing too tight of like underwear. Mm-hmm. And then the bra, she has the fits everyone bra. So Yes, the you vagina. get you can get yeast infections from wearing like from tight underwear. tight underwear to where you can't have a breathable cooch. You need like yeah. some your pussy needs to be able to breathe. It has to breathe. Stop. It's a live thing, and it <laughs> not has a to beatboxing it's alive. pussy. It's alive. It's alive. Um, and then her oh spanks gosh. are so freaking good. I don't recommend the ones that are one legged because they're for like split dresses. Um, because it, it like literally leaves a crease right here in your outfit. But her short Spanx are better than Spanx. Spanx is like, hey, they're better than Spanx to me. They have a, they, they're just like, I would say like 5% less tight. Cause I would get like uterine cramps from Spanx sometimes Shut being up. so tight on me for so long. Mm-hmm. So I'll wear them all night mm-hmm. and it would just be painful. But she has, um, Spanx are like 5%, I think less tight, but they still smooth out everything out like butter and then she also has this pair of Spanx that dip really low in the back which I found to be very unique Mm -hmm. so that way if you were backless Backless. or low still get your Spanx going because normally with Spanx I would roll them down but then you get the ripples so she's like cut Mm -hmm. and figured this out every way and then they all have that rubberized on the legs and the tummy where they don't roll up you know as you're wearing them can I pee yes yes you can the crotch is open Oh, nice. Open crotch. So it literally checks all my boxes. Mm. And then you should try. I don't know if you like like a comfy bra around the house. They have the fits everyone bra. Yeah. You'll never take it off again. I yeah, see nice. girlies on TikTok wearing it all the time. And I'm like, you're in comfort. Yeah. Mm, okay. I like comfort whenever I'm around my house. Mm-hmm. And like I need it to get out of Victoria's Secret. I feel like I need something more mature. And like, yeah. s- like Skims checks that box for me. Okay. Maybe I'll check so it out. So what are you trying? I'm like, so what are you going to try? Love it. Maybe I should try. I would get their undies. Their undies? If you like the bra. a nice undie. And you should get the fits everyone undies. I really need fits everyone bra. Okay. Just go right in working. with the shapewear. That's what she started with, yeah. the shapewear. Mm-hmm. I love space. I, I like getting love. Tight. Even mm. if I'm Just going no on as cold, mm-hmm. like they keep you mm-hmm. warm. Like they, they do so, so much. But yeah, mm-hmm. I love the smoothness of them. I'm feeling too. snatched. Mm-hmm. No matter how much you eat, you're just like. I love like, a snatched <laughs> feel. Uh-huh. Snatched and then your pants just kind of glide on. Oh, absolutely. Like and then your uh-huh. shirt just hangs because everything's <laughs> yeah. so tight. I love yeah, it. I love too. it. She's got good stuff. Okay. I'm influenced and I don't even wear that stuff. All right. Get your Spanx. I guess I'm going to have to get Spanx. Yeah. Wait, what's your pet? Um, that's a great question. Did you say your pit? I did. You said I, did. I you, keep being you myself. Did. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. The trauma. Okay, well, that yeah. is a constant Mine's trauma. trauma. Okay, well, mine is so I have a vlog camera that I love. This is Sony Z71. She's my soul sister. I've gone through two of them and I'm about to have to get a third one. And my no. husband's going to kill me. Yoshi, my cat, was filming in my closet, me cleaning, because that's all I ever do. And I had it setting up there, and my cat was just like, da 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 living her best life up there. And she looks at my camera, walks right towards it, and headbutts it all the way off the island. Shut onto up. Yep. And she killed my camera, and I just got Bummer. it. Bummer. Yep, this will be my third song. We're He's sorry. looking at me. It like, okay. <laughs> it's not I was like, her fault. And you just hear no. me, because I pulled the memory card out. You just hear me. I'm like, Yoshi, no! And it's bam and blacks out. I know, but at least it didn't ruin my vlog. At least I have it, but Mm -hmm. it ruined the camera. (laughs) 
I think you should post that clip. Yeah, you should. I, I am. I think you need to post that clip, Lorley. Another camera down. I'm like, these cameras are way too fat, fragile, first of all. For what, for existence of as they are. For what they are. Like, Jesus Christ. But maybe I need a How expensive are they? Like $700. Holy shit. Yeah. That is expensive for a little camera. It is. That's Funny. expensive for a little camera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. I didn't know that myself. Yeah. Trauma. That's okay. You like it. A dime a dozen. I love my cats, though. And, oh, good for you. and you like the cameras, you're gonna get another one. And you're gonna like love, the cameras, you're gonna get another, another one. one. Uh, oh yeah, I love the camera. I love the camera. <laughs> and you're gonna get another one. We're gonna get a third one. Okay. It's great. So it is what it is. It's part of the trauma. Uh, it's part of the YouTuber trauma. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Part of the YouTuber Can you trauma. reach out to Sony? Will they do a sponsorship? Um, with you? I would love that. Amazing. Actually, that would be lovely. I don't know why the camera companies didn't work with influencers uh, at their peak? Honestly, like, you're have so they right. lost their mind? You're so right. Their marketing for the Z71 was for the vlogger. Like, they try to like implement like vlogger marketing. I'm like, hello. But did they actually hire vloggers no. to do it? Of course, they hired they regular pay, people. Paid actors to, you know, <laughs> it's number two. Well, they sell regardless. They do. That's why. They're like, we ain't paying no social yeah. price. And yeah. that, you know, that price is going to be higher for the influencer than oh, the semi Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. They're not going to do it. No. But they should. One time they were like, Sony reached down. They're like, we can loan you a camera. I was like, loan. I want to loan be gifted a camera. camera. I gotta give it back. Like for what? Yeah. For what? So, oh yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I think they at least gifted to you. I know. Mm. I know. I'm like, you guys missed opportunity. What's the coolest pair you ever gotten? Dr Pepper. That's true. <laughs> Probably Dr Pepper. Dr. Pepper. I'm a Dr Pepper fanatic. I love Dr Pepper. You do too. No. What's the coolest you've ever gotten? No, I I won't drink Dr. Do- like I won't buy Dr Pepper, mm. but if it's available to me, you'll drink I will it. drink it, and you love, love it. I love it. Oh my gosh! I get mm. so many people on the pod. They're like, "No, what's about?" I don't know yeah. what it is. Yeah, I remember it's like, like so different. Oh I love Mr no. Pib. Oh, Mr Pib all day. I'm like, don't tell Dr Pepper, but to me, truck. I love Mr Pib. Yeah, it's is, that so this, good. is that similar? To Dr. It Pepper? is it's more oh. sugar. Uh-huh. Sounds like Coca Cola. Oh. It oh. was, they wanted to compete with Mr Pib, so they. I'm sorry, Dr Pepper. So then they came out with Mr Pib. Which oh is delicious. God. Which is so, so bomb. Good. It's like it's just sugar. It's, it's sugar. rare it's that sugar. you get it too. It's like a more rare one. Like, I don't yeah. see it. It's like the orange do. high C. Oh, yes. It's like <laughs> rare. Lovely. It's out there, but that it's rare. I grew up on McDonald's, McDonald's? and they had Mr. Pip uh-huh. and the no. orange high C. And like those are my, that was my shit. I yep. love it. I was a Diet Coke girly. <laughs> yep. That mm-hmm. was a Diet Coke girly. Yeah, now that I'm older, Diet Coke bitch. Are you a Diet Coke bitch? Yeah. Okay. I'm still a Diet Coke bitch. bitch. Yeah. Oh, period. Like, so I buy Dr. Pepper. Pepper. Like, that's like yeah. my vice is mm. my Dr. Pepper. Mine's Diet Coke. Mm. I love aspartame. Whatever it's Get called. Get a girl. Yep. <laughs> I, I think that's killing me. Long. I love it. Yeah, I totally. I, I was addicted it's for a long time. It's a pick your poison game. Totally. It what do you want to do? It really from? is because I'm like, well, it's always everything I eat. It's always somebody's like, oh, well, that's bad because of this. And I'm like, well, I can't just eat vegetables on the garden, babe. Mm. So I live in LA. So it yeah. is what it is. It is what it is. We're all going to die from something. And I promise you, I've done way worse things than drink soda. So we're going to have to take this is the poison mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. pick it mm-hmm. okay so let's jump in some questions for you uh, miss yeah. bailey okay. um okay Just a few. what made you so i remember following you before you did murder mystery you're always a great storyteller and you always did great makeup on youtube but what oh, you. got you into makeup x murder mystery do you guys remember the chris watts case no what mm-hmm. no tell me something that happened in <sighs> it and it'll come to me it was that man okay okay mm-hmm. i'm like married yes. with the um what was her name oh shanann his wife was shanann they you had all the details she was pregnant she had the two kids he um murdered the whole family yep. took him to the oil yep. oh my god yes i watched the documentary on so did that. I, so did yeah, I. yeah he had okay. the girlfriend yep all that. yes so i was like i've always and been he wanted to leave his in wife the water, but she kind of wasn't canteen. having it yeah. yep it, that was an oil thing. It was. Which was like so morbid. Oh, just horrific. So I'm fascinated by humans in general. Mm-hmm. Why we do the things we do. I'm always trying to figure that out. Like yeah. it just interests me. Yeah. Um, like many people out there interested in true crime. Totally. Like, 2020. She's a true crime girly. Mm-hmm. So it's by like, far. it's just, you're in it, right? You get yep. so into it. So oh, with yeah. the Chris Watts case, it was just like another story that I was overly invested in. Okay. I just knew everything about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I had all this knowledge built up about it because I'd stay up till four researching it. Like I was going to solve. Wow. This was before it was solved. I was, thought, I was, you know, you just think you're going to solve the mystery. Yes, right? yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so I had mystery. all like this built up knowledge about it, but nobody to talk to about it with. Interesting. Yeah, because at the time uh, the guy was dating, he's like, please stop. Okay, the murder. Like you're obsessing. Really? Yeah, he doesn't you're want to obsessing. hear. No one wants to hear about that's, murder. That's how Ty is. He's not as into mm-hmm. it as me, but I, I've get seen into every it. documentary, serial, 
all the episodes like i'm I'm not that into it Mm -mm. i'm not that into it like she is it's just i don't know i think because we're just trying to figure out what to look out for yeah usually us women we're the victims well it's always that (laughs) oh it's always so it's like what do i I look out for Mm -hmm. what are the red flags what did this person do what can i learn from it how crazy people can get crazy and with the chris watts one specifically (sighs) that one really got me together because he out of nowhere Mm -hmm. snapped Mm mm-hmm those ones are scary. With like two little girls, <gasps> too. He's got chills thinking about it. His pregnant, pregnant wife. wife. Who he just buried Which like wasn't nothing. wasn't it speculated she got pregnant to kind of trap him in the marriage? Because what wasn't he kind of like teetering, leaving her? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Not were, saying validating no, what no, he no. did in totally. any way, fashion, or form. Who really knows if it was a planned pregnancy right. or not? Because I remember reading her diary. Oh. I didn't read it, but it was like posted mm-hmm. somewhere. And it was like they were trying to have kids. Okay, see. So I think she, see? maybe she thought that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think he was going through a midlife crisis. 100%. But it's Jesus giving midlife. Christ. Yeah, he went about it the wrong way, obviously. <gasps> mm-hmm. Just bite yourself a Ferrari. Like, a normal like literally, and call any it a day. normal <laughs> midlife crisis. Shave your head. Yeah, just buy a Ferrari and call literally. it a day. Her, divorce get your, her. Like, cute little thing. Why do you have to murder your whole family? Oh, you know? my God. And for him, like, he had no red flags or anything. And it was so scary. But I remember watching an interview he did with um, the news. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was on live TV. And mm-hmm. I was like, he fucking did it. <gasps> remember whenever so, they, the cops were like, or I guess there were cameras in the neighbor's house whenever they were investigating the neighbors. And then he's there like kind of acting crazy. Like, you know, See, being that all weird. freaked me so out creepy. so bad watching that in the documentary. Because I was just like, how Guilty. did he do this in... I don't want to say and just like not off himself, but like, how do you do something that and go on living life like it's normal and try to cover it up? Something that dark. I know, right? Like, what is that in the brain that Mm -hmm. thinks he's going to get away with it? That made it next level for me. Also, go to bed at night. You and killed sleep. your whole fucking family. family. Like, and, and you put you just threw them out in like the middle they were of trash. The- yeah, sad. Mm. But any, uh, not sad. But I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I just one day was like, I'm going to do my makeup so it makes sense to my channel. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about the Chris Watts case and like see what happens. Totally. Wow. I honestly did not think, I thought it was going to get a lot of negative feedback. Because you're talking about something so yeah. dark and heavy. And so, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I didn't want to just sit there and talk to the camera. Like I needed to keep myself busy. Right. So totally. that's why I did the makeup and I keep doing the makeup because I have to keep myself busy. If mm-hmm. I stare at the camera, I just get out of it. I don't like it. I just mm-hmm. have to do something. It's like a mm-hmm. great vice and mix it. It there. is. Totally. Um, and that's why I mix it too. And like after the Chris Watts upload, I instantly was like, wow. got, I think, 60,000 views. Okay. And I was like, oh my God. Like, holy shit. Yeah. I was like, okay, I think I'm onto something. Let me mm-hmm. try it again. Wow. And I just kept going with stories that I'm familiar with or mm-hmm. ones that interest me. And I've just been doing it ever since. It's so unique. It really it's, is. It is right, huh? so unique. I know sometimes when I explain to people what I do, I'm like, you just have to see it. <laughs> but you have, to, you have to be a good storyteller for it to work, yeah. though. You know what I mean? Not anyone can just be like, I'm just going to tell a murder mystery and do my makeup. Like, you have to be a good, and your stories are so well put together. Oh, thank you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. you really feel like you're getting the true story and what really happened with all the details whenever you watch. Well, that's what I love is like getting in the nitty gritty with the research and like finding the story mm-hmm. and like putting it all together. And then I write my own script. I call oh, it a script. Dude. I was going to ask like, what your what your actual, your favorite part of it is is because that does intrigue me too the whole process the whole I thing think, because i get to act like a little investigator yeah and then i'm like okay what's the story okay last week was like albert fish so mm-hmm. it's like researching everything about him reading all the articles i'll watch documentaries <sighs> if i can and then i just create my script mm-hmm. it which is just a story from start to finish totally right like so a you loose don't script. miss anything yeah and then um Usually by the end of the time I'm researching, it's like I'm already so familiar with the story that I right. just go in and film. Yeah. Wow. You don't even need to like read off of anything. It's like, yeah. baby, I know the story. Yeah, through I'm like, and through let me now. tell you, get ready. <laughs> like But I have my like scripts so I can you know for reference points totally because names all like sometimes like, and dates. dates. Oh my god. Places. Dates you don't is what wanna... will get me together. It's names. Because oh, everybody's yeah. There's just at this point, how many stories have I done? Everything is blended together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm like, wait, what? Did I do this story? It sounds familiar. So, yeah. Some, I love that. Days. I know you've done a ton, but mm-hmm. if you like, what's one of your like top, like most interesting, and I'm not saying favorite story, but right. most interesting deep dive that you've ran into? Probably my quote unquote favorite is mm-hmm. like Ed Gein. 
He fascinates me. He's like more of a body snatcher. Who, who, Tell us was, about it because yeah, I'm very what, what intrigued. What is this person? So Ed Gein, um, this was- I, I don't know names, but I always know whenever you get going, I'm like, yep. I've, Do you know Buffalo one. Bill? Yep. He's based off of- So Ed he's Gein. Buffalo Bill, is he, Ed? Kind of, it's like inspiration. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, Ed Gein, he was a body snatcher. So he'd like uh, go to cemeteries, dig up a body, Pull them out. He would use their skin to make costumes. Girl, wanted, you, you just got me together real good. Hold yeah, on. I didn't know all this. Tell me more. He wanted to make, he was trying to make a full body outfit so he could look like his mother. So he had like literally the whole piece, right? From all mm -hmm. these different bodies. And he would try and get bodies like right after they went, they were buried because mm. that's when the skin was the best. And it wasn't elastic. decayed yet. Yeah, and he would lather like lotions all over it to make sure it was moisturized. Like he was weird. Wow. Like, that's weird. And he what made- What year did this, like years? Uh, 70, I I remember. like, like, like long ago. Long ago. Mm -hmm. Long ago. 50s? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could be wrong. It had to be a but long, he made long time a belt ago. Out of nipples. No. It's so cool. When you look it up, it's literally the, the whole nipple in a belt. So together. Yeah. The reason that fascinate, fascinates wow. me is because one, creative. Very creative, mm -hmm. very- DIY king. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, very DIY. Also, very different. He wasn't like murdering people, but he was oh still Oh my God, like, that's such a good point. You're so I right, forgot, they're already dead. I he, forgot he they were all one already person. dead. <laughs> Tyler so is guess. showing us a picture of the belt. Oh, the you, nipple you belt. You got us in. Thank you, Tyler, for the nipple belt oh, reveal. Yeah, that's so sick. That's in, That's literally wild. He didn't I'm murder people. He murdered one guy, correct? Okay, okay. He murdered one guy, but for the most part, no, he was a body snatcher. He wasn't murdering people and doing this. He was mostly snatching. He worked mm. at the cemetery. Oh, so he had like all he had like the way he like had it made. Yeah, connect. he was a little off. Something okay. obviously off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like this is way before the internet days and stuff. Like, how do you come up with that concept? All oh, up a here. nipple belt. Yeah, how do you come up, up with up that? Yeah. that's in his dreams. That's wow. weird, right? Like, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> he made scared. like lampshade of people's faces. No, mm -hmm. it's a real thing. It's sewn together. You can see it online. He made gloves out of people's skin. He made everything. That was his medium was skin. Yeah. Oh my God, the lampshade. Yeah. Tyler. He made a chair. I don't need to see any of those things. His whole house was just decored with people's bodies. It was so bizarre. Like, again, it's one of those things. What, why? Did he why? get caught and go to prison yeah, for he this? He got caught. Mm. Mm. I think he went to a mental institution. Okay, that sounds more mm. appropriate. More accurate. Yeah. Because he was like, he was known in the neighborhood, right? He was a weird guy. He had a very controlling, abusive mother. Always. Mm. I feel like that's mm -hmm. what it is. It's mm -hmm. always a controlling, abusive mother. They crave their or mother's father. love. Or oh, father. Yeah. It's mommy parent, daddy issues. Parent, parent. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's extreme. It's gonna fuck your kid up. Yeah. Anyway, and it does. And yeah. It really does. Yeah, so um, I think his mom was like trying to take advantage of him sexually. Okay. There's Recipe for a serial killer right there. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So confusing. All the documentaries kid. I watch, they all start out with all either a band, just something with the mother. Mm -hmm. Not to say that everyone with bad parents comes out to be a serial killer. Totally. Right? But I think if you beat the shit out of your kid every day, all day, you might fuck up. Especially when they're like abused, three years old. Yeah. yeah. Abandonment, mm -hmm. sexually abused. Um, it's very sad. Every murder mystery makeup, because I like to do a backstory, mm -hmm. always abuse. Every time. Really? It no, like, that's why Chris Watts was so creepy to me. No abuse. Just because no it was so random. one day. Yeah. He had no priors. Ugh. He's like never gotten in trouble. He wasn't a serial killer though. No, but just like, a, a killer. horrible killer to, to the kill people close like to him. Pregnant wife, wife and kid. The two little girls just takes me out every time. <gasps> mm -mm 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 -mm. That's what wow. takes me out because I remember hearing the thing of it about mm -mm. like the girls being like, "Daddy, where are we going?" or something mm -mm. like that. That's mm -mm. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It was so like that gross. really tr like that really like freaks me out. Oh yes, he had, a, like he, had a, a he had a girlfriend who was like, I didn't know, but her internet search history was like, she was searching up the wife, she was searching no, she up wasn't. wedding dresses. Yeah, she was, they found her Google history. She was looking up like, is he still married? Um, what happened to Fryer? Do you remember the, um, there's another girl with uh, Scott Peterson and what's his wife's name? Scott Peterson. I can never remember the, the pregnant names. Wives. That's pregnant, why um, I tell you, you have to tell me the oh story and Scott I'll know, and, um, but I'll never know any name. Uh, Lisey. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. 
You don't know? Mm-mm. I don't you know guys. names either. I, I also like don't follow <laughs> don't know, along. I don't, I don't know, know shit. Know I just I don't remember names from my life, but I know okay, stories well, I'll never forget. Uh, Scott Peterson murdered his pregnant wife, mm-hmm. allegedly put her in like a, the ocean, a river, something like that. She washed up to shore one day, but um, he had a girlfriend, a side piece, mm-hmm. and she came forward and was getting like book deals and stuff. So then in the Chris Watts story, the side girl was Googling that girl. Oh. Like about her book deal. Like, did she get a book deal? How much was her book deal? Um, What to know about it. uh Uh-huh. What to do if you're a side chick. Like, she knew her position in this. And then she was Googling wedding dresses. Yeah. She was looking up. So you just really have to wonder, did they have conversations about about it it before he did it? She swears they didn't. Okay, but but she's never going to admit that. Of course not. No, right? right. Of course not. That's a collusion. Yeah, because I believe, allegedly, her dad was like a high, he was a high up in the company that they Mm. both worked for. Oh. So I think that's why she got off squeaking clean. Did you watch the show Mine Hunters or what was the show Ty that we watched that we love where they go interview the serial killers to understand why they do the things they do just to learn from them so we can catch serial killers quicker? It's a real show on Netflix. Um, it is like TV show, TV show. But it's like mm. two detectives in the seventies and like they want to interview Manson and stuff. So they finally get the department. You would freaking love the show. They can't. I think it's Mind Hunter. Mind Mind Hunter. Hunter. People have told me about this, but I've never seen it. It would be so up your alley because it's just so serious and so well done. The show is and like so deep, and all the stuff is true in it. That where they interview, like every story is like really happened. So it makes it really fascinating. Mm. You have to put that on your list. Yeah, I will. It got canceled, but still worth watching. Okay. That's what fascinates me. I would love to be that person who talks to the serial killer. That's why I think you would love the show because yeah. you know every detail and one of the gut detectives were, was kind of like yeah. you. And so he's like, we can learn so much to stop this in the future. Mm. Totally. That's what they all have out. patterns. All have patterns. They all have it's patterns. Not, like usually it's not random. Yes, there's exactly. Something. Usually nine times out of 10, not random. Not random. There's there's, there's there, something leading up to it. And is it usually like a, a cycle of abuse? That's what it seems like so far. Like it's been like this cycle Cycle of abuse or like a mental illness is going mm-hmm. untreated. But usually a cycle of abuse, it causes like rage inside. They're angry. Mm-hmm. They're full of hate. What are they going to do? They start killing animals. Yeah. That was what the I was animals always say. start. Animals yeah. are always a big part of the cycle. Animals start. Torturing that's where they animals start. and killing animals. Yeah. And then they upgrade to then like assault. And then they get bored mm. of that. And then they try something else where they'll To see how much they can like get away with. Like yeah. a little a dip in the toe. Uh-huh. And then they'll What did you think about um, <gasps> the so TV show with Evan Peters? He just did. Um, oh, Dahmer? Dahmer. Dahmer. I didn't watch it. Mm. Because not that I didn't, I didn't really want to. Okay, I did a video on Jeffrey Dahmer, and I swear to you, I like watched so oh, much. Oh, I like, bet you were lying. Mm. I did. I'm so done with him. Mm-hmm. Like he, I didn't know. I thought I knew about Dahmer. I just thought he was the guy who ate people, right? Because mm-hmm. that's like a loose rumor that goes around. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the TV show. I guess not that I had to be educated on him, but it taught me it was so much more than that. And yeah. like he targeted certain things and like his childhood and the animal killing, of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. So it was like very interesting to me. Targeting gay men. Yeah, I didn't know that it was gay men either. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't know that any of that. That's it was like, a hard watch. I had I struggled watching it. Are you done? Mm-hmm. I was like watching it. I was like, this just is like very hard to watch. Well, Especially yeah. being like, a gay, maybe just being a gay man. Yeah, because for once you know? you're the victim. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're the target. Yeah, absolutely. That's like, why, honestly, it's yeah, true. Yeah, with Jeffrey Dahmer, I was like, oh, cool, great. He's not interested in killing oh, women. Women, women we're are safe off for the one. Hook on literally, this one. we're off literally. the hook. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's always yeah. the young women. Now, okay, I'll get off the serial killer thing, but I have to bring up to you. Okay, the one that ran through California in the '80s, one of the biggest serial killers of all time. There's a lot. <sighs> what was his Richard name? Richard Ramirez. Yep, that's the him. Nice that's him. Night Stalker. That's I know the, that story. Probably the darkest because I watched a really intense documentary that went through every single thing he did. And yeah. to me, that was probably the darkest thing I had ever seen. Just the his brutality. Yeah. And like he, he was would, gross. Yeah, he it was, was just horrific. His teeth. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's like the some of the victims that survived. That's like one thing they would say the smell of his mouth coming at what? them because his teeth were so rotted. That's right. disgusting. So gross. Horrible. And he shaved them down to be all like, uh-huh. like fangs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whittle them. 
him. That so people would obviously remember yeah. that. Like for if they encountered him and survived him. Little piranha teeth. The yeah. night stalker. So gross. But the community in California caught him. Mm-hmm. Which it is was, a gag. It, the gag it, that it's a beautiful the community. ending to a Has horrific a mm-hmm. story. The community had had enough and they finally got his ass and they beat the living hell out they of him. The shit out they of beat him. In, in the street and they like wouldn't let him go. Like mm-hmm. they were like, no. So I love that. That was. Yeah, I it was literally a good love that. It was a good ending Cinderella to a horrific story. story. Yeah. <laughs> so a murder mystery. Okay, solved. I will literally talk to you for three and a half hours. It's true. About well, did you watch? So did you watch the Murdoch trials? Of course I oh, did. Yeah. Did you watch the trials itself or the? I watched Netflix? the documentary because I was behind Onyx. I was traveling, but I'm like <laughs> staying off the news because I didn't want to know what the end trial was yeah. until I'd finished the documentary, mm-hmm. so I could understand every detail. Um. I was like, that is generational evil. Oh my God, sick, disgusting And you know for human. a fact that we only scratch the surface on them. Totally. You know we scratch the surface. We don't know half of what they've done. No, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know anything about it. They are. This episode. is a super wealthy family who has a lot of power in like, where? Uh, South Carolina? Mm. Yeah. There. Mm. So mm-hmm. they're like l- attorneys and lawyers and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're. They cover it up. Uh, well, the whole family, it's like a family business, a generation thing. So oh. grandpa was in it and then his son was in it and then his son was in it, you know? Mm-hmm. So they yes. controlled the area because they- They were powerful. in it with the yeah. police. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It started off good, but with this last guy, what was his name? The dad? Yeah. Um, Not Paul. Paul was the son. Alex? Alex. Mm-hmm. He was just all sorts of corrupt. Mm-hmm. Just um, oh. stealing on people's opioids money, really badly too. On a bunch of drugs. His son had literally murdered somebody on a boat mm-hmm. and he covered it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, he threatened people. Like if they ever tried to go against him, he would threaten them. He His other son them. allegedly beat a gay boy to death. Yep. Mm-hmm. And wow. uh, just a lot of like cover-ups got it so that's so they're just like monstrous monsters people who cover up run this area got it they get away with anything anything and literal murder and they have so much money it's so gross these little boys act like spoiled little brats beyond they can get away with that yeah like the paw 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 he was like how old was he 18 19 the paul yep 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 he was like either 17 or 18 because bars. he was in high school still when this happened. So he had to be like 18. He was wasted driving a boat and killed one of his friends and then covered it up. Like the whole the whole family is just corrupt. gross. They're a corrupt family. Yeah. With people money. With money. Ugh. So I, we literally just talked about this, Laura. Okay. With people with hella money like that. They're like, how they freak us out. I have a question for you because the end of it's a little bit of a mystery and you've obviously researched. So a, the dad was there when the mom and the youngest son was murdered. So it's mm-hmm. like he was trialed for that murder. But why do you think he murdered them? Ooh, I've thought about this a lot. I knew you so. would. <laughs> I knew you would have You're something like, cooking did? for that. You're like, why? Because it's left kind of open ended yeah. there. Mm. Here's my theory. The dad was on a lot of drugs, whatever, right? We know that. So he's on his right mind, first mm-hmm. of all. Second of all, the trial for the uh, boat murder mm-hmm. was coming up. Because they I, caught up with him, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he was going to go and he was going to be found guilty. There's yep. no way. One million He was going to ruin There's the family There's like witnesses, name. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. He was going to ruin this family name, this legacy. Um, it was going to take down everything that this guy, this family had built. Mm-hmm. So I think what was happening was that the wife was probably like, babying the son because he was the baby of the family Mm. she's like maybe standing up for him trying Mm -hmm. to have his back in some kind of way like he has to go to trial we have to do this what do you want him to do yeah Yeah. exactly like what do you want him to do we're gonna do it like this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go through with the trial i'm probably gonna divorce you Uh Uh, and i think what's his name was just like i don't want to deal with any of this yeah like i don't want to go to trial and have to deal with the aftermath it and seeing all my unraveling. Son. I don't want my wife to be in the way telling me no. And you know, more stuff was going to come out oh, once definitely. during you the know, trial. It unravels. Because like, like, I think the wife probably was like going to do the right thing. Yeah. Like whistleblow. Uh huh. Because she was like kind of working with the divor- divorce person, mm-hmm. allegedly. Behind his back. Yeah. So I think she was pr- pr- trying to put herself in a position where she could escape, but also do the right thing. Yep. And it was going to throw him mm. under the bus. For everything. Uh-huh. Whenever and she was probably got her she hand was in there too. just as much. Come on. Oh, totally. Like, like she on. was getting the money too. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, But I think he just wanted to get rid of the problem. Isn't that insane? When it's your own family, that's crazy. You Kill your me? little boy and your wife. Life. He didn't like that boy. You know, no. he liked the older one who was. He liked be, the older one. Because he was gonna be an attorney. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. And the, the other boy wasn't. He was like rebellious and just horrible. Like a fuck up. Like a horrible, like he a was a fuck up. Totally. And he killed someone. Mm-hmm. Not that he should die, but like. No, right, but it's like, wow. You should have made your son pay the price in the beginning. Absolutely. Just, and not try to cover it up. Like, yeah. have him go. Shout out pay to for the it. young girls in the hospital who stood up to the Murdochs whenever. That was very brave of them to say, get this man out of my room. They're not my lawyer because the Murdoch dad tried to go in their room and say, you know, I'm their attorney. I'll speak for them because they were trying to pin the driver of the boat on the other kid. Got it. But they investigated the boat and they were like, that wouldn't have worked anyways because yeah. we can see their injuries and the blood splatter, you know, right where they, they hit. It. So it correlated. And mm-hmm. everybody told the same story when they testified, you know. They did not like that though. Oh, the man. The probably livid. I'm like, y'all are mighty brave because that's scary. And then he tried to even kill himself by hiring a hitman yep. on himself. Yep. Sure did. Messy. To make it seem sure like it did. wasn't him doing that? No, he. I think he did it because he I'm not he sure too scared if he to wanted himself. to die, but I guess he if he did die, his son would have gotten like 10 million, the one who's mm-hmm. like free and out. Oh. The life insurance money. Mm-hmm. Got it. So, and then if it was a hitman and not a suicide, you would get the life the insurance. The money. Yeah. So, but he didn't die, he just got shot. And it, it hit him in the <laughs> head and it didn't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> it, it seems like poetic justice. Like yeah. him to not die though because it's mm-hmm. like, oh, you tried it. So well, he failed. ended up getting two life sentences. Yeah. So he's in prison he right sure now. Did. Mm-hmm. He's in prison right now. He's mm-hmm. in prison. But what's a bummer is the other son's still out. But we don't really know how involved he was. I with personally the think that he killed the little gay boy. Okay, but hear me out. And I think most likely too. But on the Netflix documentary, they didn't like give us any evidence mm-hmm. that they were linked other than theory mm-hmm. and like and then that was it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of for like the speculation of it. Like yeah, they it wasn't yeah. the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless they yeah. presented something that was hardcore evidence that mm-hmm. we could not deny. But like it's not fair. They were just like, oh allegedly he was having a, a relationship with him mm-hmm. and um he didn't run him over with his car. We know that. Yeah. But they didn't give us any other option as to maybe what had happened to him. That night. Like there yeah, was like, it was just like uh, rumors that went around the high school yeah. that kind of got passed around and like everybody pointed fingers at just everyone yeah. pointing. It was all like hearsay. Hearsay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not enough. Like it's not enough when you're doing like not something this serious. In a Netflix documentary. Yeah. Where yeah. You need more. We're going to be watching. Millions. Now linking. Millions. This Million, millions of people yeah. watching that. For sure. So it was kind of like, ooh. Like I want to believe that, of mm-hmm. course, because why wouldn't I? I just, they did all these it's other things. It's just like murders. the track right. record. I know. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh, we don't no really facts. know. No facts. No facts. Oh, it's kind of, I don't yep. know. Like you want more. Yeah, so I don't want to say he 100% did it Mm -hmm. and because there was like, I'm just like the family's so rotten inside and out, rotten as they can be. But yeah, that one's a recent one. Are you going to cover that one on your channel? I don't know. I think we need you to. Because you know, because I need to know every, more about it. Yeah, see, okay, you know, yeah, like, so I, much. I, like, instead I of having really, to watch it, I'd rather watch and you. It is a deep w- woven story, like, it's more than just a cold case. Know. Mar- you know, it is, it goes so far. So, I think so that would be years. such a good one. I guess because I've just personally been watching so much content on it, I'm like, oh, it's already been talked about. Like, like, no, you one needs, feel you're that right, way, like no one needs to know. You're so yeah. wrong. We want to hear you. Yeah. Tell no. us. Like, everyone's t- done it. Like, I need no. something different. No, you know what? And the reason I know that's different because when like things are happening online, people will tag us like, I need you guys to talk about this topic, mm-hmm. like on full coverage. So it's like, mm-hmm. you guys know what's going on, but they want to hear us say it. I've so it's the same issue. I've already watched the podcast and I want to hear you tell the story. <laughs> I, guess. I, I was like, like, you just told me the whole thing. And I'm like, yeah, I want to hear but it again. I need you to do it. Yeah. I love it. Okay, we're going to switch lanes because we're going to ask you about your beauty life before murder mystery. Yeah, like yeah. What, what, what made you even get into beauty? Like what was like the... The first job you had that was in the beauty space, what attracted you to makeup, like not the murder portion, the makeup portion. Makeup. Yeah. Um, I really wasn't allowed to wear makeup until I was like 18. Mm. Your parents' rules? They're like, yeah. mm-hmm. interesting. But I would sneak at school and put the eyeliner in my waterline. <laughs> a lot of the girly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> Washed out by lunch. Yeah. yeah, it looked so awful. I don't know what I was doing, but I did it, you know? You're like, just a rebel. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And then at my local mall, they opened up a Sephora, and I was like, oh my God, like, this is this? Me. I didn't even know what it was. Yeah, It was yeah. incredible. Wow. And I would go in, and I would like look at the palettes and stuff and play. And I remember one of the ladies who worked there, she noticed me coming in a lot because I worked at the mall. So I like came in a lot and played and she's like, are you looking for a job? (gasps) And I was like, yeah. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Uh Yeah. So I got a job at Sephora. I love it. Yeah, and I learned everything there. 
That's and I was yeah. in it for five awesome. years. Oh, wow. Oh, you were in it for a while. Time. I was in it for a very long time. And I learned everything and anything. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. Like as far so as playing with product and I loved making uh, customers feel beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. My favorite yeah, part's about awesome. it too. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I loved playing with the new stuff, all the different, it was just fun. Mm -hmm. Yep. I hated like the company working for uh, Sephora. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> You're like, how do I but say the this? experience Sephora. with people oh, the is whole, amazing. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? I love that. So then I was there for five years and towards the end, I really started doing um, makeup freelance for weddings. Mm -hmm. So uh, I did a lot of weddings for a while there. And then I started, um, well, no, I got hired at Urban Decay. So oh. I started working for Urban Decay. And I only lasted about a year mm -hmm. because I realized, you know what? I'm not married. I don't have kids. I don't own anything. <laughs> like yeah. right. all I have to do is pay my phone bill and pay my car. Dude. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I'm going to try just freelancing full time and see yeah. what happens. So I started doing that and I started assisting celebrity makeup clients mm. and doing that. And meanwhile, I was doing YouTube because I just wanted to talk about makeup. Yeah. And again, I just and wanted to make up knowledge. I had so much knowledge yeah. I wanted to mm -hmm. share. When I was at Sephora and Urban Decay, I really wanted to get into the education field wow. because mm -hmm. I love all of that. Yes. Yeah. And um, it just never worked out for me, which is fine because look at me now. A hundred percent. When one, well, yeah. <laughs> one, exactly. one door closes. <laughs> wow. Uh, but yeah, so it just never worked out. I was so bummed. So I started freelancing full time, just on my own, hustling as best as I could. I was doing celebrity uh, makeup clients and I realized I didn't want to do that either. Oof. Sometimes mm. you meet very not Oof. nice people. 100%. I can't imagine. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's such a kiss ass job. Oh, you're totally. Like, oh my God, you're amazing. I you're the best you. I've ever oh. seen. You're, you're a their, yes man. You're also their therapist yeah. too at times. Yeah, and they're like, I'm so ugly. No, yeah. no you're not. Oh my yeah, God. you are. Oh. I'm not a <laughs> magician. I'm not that oh my God, you <laughs> yeah, totally. are. I'm like, if someone's like, I'm oh. so ugly, I'm like. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Like I'm here to do a job. I'm yes, not. yes. <laughs> so um yeah, I realized that wasn't for me and I was I just was in this weird limbo. But then yeah. uh, Ipsy reached out to me because they we saw. We were going to ask you about that. Yeah, they mm. saw my YouTube um, videos. Someone at Ipsy did. Mm -hmm. And at first I thought it was spam. Because you know when you're. A hundred percent. If you, any content creators who are just getting into the field out there, you're going to get spammed by. A randoms. And you'll get one so good many. email. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and many people who want to be spams. like your manager. Yes. Your manager content. Don't ever give it. We would to like those. to work with we you for your, your channel cor creator. Your corporation. What do they say? Corporation. Co or a. Uh, corporation. Yeah. Cooperation. Yes. Always. I'm like, eh. mm -hmm. I'm like, I will not cooperate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. So I put out the Ipsy email for a while and they kept emailing me. I was like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So I like looked them up and I realized, I was like, oh, my it's bad. Real. It's yeah. real. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's real. I was like, my bad. I'll go in for like, they wanted to meet and talk. Mm -hmm. It was in Santa Monica. And it was like a three hour drive for me. Oh, oh, help us all. Shoot. I know. I was like, I hope this is real. <laughs> What, you have an alley somewhere? Like, what yeah. is this? Yeah. And then they offered me um, an, to be an in-house creator, mm -hmm. for, wow. which was like a three-year contract. Totally. Which was incredible. Yeah. Did you do it for three years? Yeah, I, I did. I feel like it went by so fast. Mm -hmm. It went by very fast. Wow. I was still really small. Oh, okay. I was like really, it was really nice of them to like take me on because before yeah. they had Desi, Katie, they were smaller Crispy. whenever they Crispy. signed on, Kristen. though. They were all smaller whenever mm. they yeah. signed on to Ipsy. Mm -hmm. But this was post that, right? This is after that? It was after that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I was yeah. Like, so I was like, oh my I God, see. cool. Like, I can't, like, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to be an Ipsy girly. Yeah. yeah. And um, it just wasn't the same because mm -hmm. it was like after the big influencer bubble mm -hmm. first, you know? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. they were realizing, Ipsy was realizing that they didn't really need in-house creators anymore. Yeah. Like, it wasn't becoming a thing. Right. So it was kind of fizzling away. Mm -hmm. But I'm so thankful for that experience because totally. like, it's part of your journey. It's part of your journey regardless. Uh huh. And then I got to work with them recently. It was like a full circle. A hundred percent. That's yeah. awesome. I love really that. Cool. It was cool. The I Ipsy really bag it. when you were like the Ipsy, one of the Ipsy creators. Like that's cool. Oh, no, it was so That's dope as fuck. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I loved it. And then after so that, fun. it was like, boom, my murder mystery took off. It was wow. wild. Like as soon as I was done with Ipsy. Maybe your brain was free and you were like ready Probably. for a new era. And You're you like, were boom. thinking of new Something. ways to implement content. I love that. Yeah, I don't know. It was one of those things where I was like, I'm just going to try it yeah. and do it. And, and I'm so glad happens. I did. 
You know those That's that so content cool. where you're like, I'm just gonna try. You know, yeah. you think absolutely. Anything, it pops Never off, and you're like, what oh, could shit. Me with the me with the first watermelon face <laughs> oh. on 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 reels. <laughs> yep. Yeah, when the, when that was my. I was like, "This is so stupid," but I'm gonna react to it anyway. And then it got 15 million views, and I said, "Shut up!" You know what? 15 like, million views. You said, hot. "You know what?" I think that there's a. I think people like this. You're like, maybe I should listen to myself a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep doing yeah, it. Just like, listen to my I agree. intuition. You have to like. You have to like listen when it's there. Totally. I feel like as content creators, you kind of put yourself in a bubble where it's like, this is what I do. This is, yep. what, you know, and mm -hmm. it's like, you, you're afraid to branch out because it might but you flop. forget yep. you're free. Yeah. Totally. Like who cares if it flops? You can do anything you want to do. With all time. Yeah, whatever. I think yeah. about it all the time. Uh -huh. Me too. Uh -huh. Even as like being like, because I'm a beauty guru and for a long time, I wasn't even comfortable not being glam at things like I would never mm. not be glam at events because I was so like, well, I'm a beauty guru. I have to be, I, I felt I was putting myself in a bubble in a weird way. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait, like I don't like really have to do any of those things. Like I'm allowed to be able to express like that. I like to do other things too. And like, mm -hmm. I like to work out. I like to be lifestyle. I like to be fun and do all these other things. Like I didn't have to just be the one beauty guru gay. That's yeah. true. Which I yeah, felt yeah, like yeah. for a long time, like I had to be like mm -hmm. that and I had to fit in that little box. Yeah. So now I'm like, oh, well, I don't have to. Like, if I want to, I will. And if I don't want to, then I won't. Good for you. You know? You're Manny. I'm Manny. You're not Manny. Just a beauty guru. Gay. <laughs> Who's gay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. It's not your whole personality. It's not my whole thing. No, you there, can are there are levels. There are levels. It's There's like levels. when you started doing more lifestyle stuff. Yep. Like you didn't like. I did. I backed out to. of beauty a bit because I'd just been doing it for so long and I wanted. Well, really, my manager was like, you know, what if you did other things in beauty? Because I was with a predominantly beauty manager whenever mm. I switched over. She had no one on the beauty roster. Mm. And so she was like, what if you did other content? And I'm like, what if I did? So yeah. I tried it and I immediately had the fear, like, I'm going to lose my whole audience. Yeah. They're not going to be. Didn't no. care at all. Because our audience is growing with us. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So it's 100%. like they're in their phase of cleaning out their closet literally yeah. it literally mm -hmm. was yeah. that and they have told me that mm -hmm. they're like no girl we're growing up too with you we're yeah. still we're just still here for the mm -hmm. ride i you know? know it's wild like my audience like you recognize name well, yeah. at least oh, I do oh for and, sure and i'm like if y'all ever change your thumbnail picture oh, i'll be, be so sad. mad yes i'm like yeah. you all have the same mm -hmm. picture yeah. you've been coming out I'll every see video their comments and it's like they they gotten married they've had kids like, yeah. we've yes. been together for so long mm -hmm. our, it's like our little babies yeah, like they like really feel like that yeah, no. we've been on the the life journey for so long they're together they're like 60 years old and we're like they're our babies mm -hmm. uh -huh. literally mm -hmm. oh they are they are our babies yeah they really are our little community babies same with when you meet them in real life and they're like I've been with you since <sighs> And they'll say something way back when uh, you're like, uh, oh, it shakes you. I'm yeah, like, we're like, you've seen friends. so much. I know. It's like, God been through some trauma with yeah. you. Yeah. journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whenever the people are like, I've been with you since you had 10,000 followers. And I said, oh I'm like, liar. I was <laughs> like, what do you mean? What video was I uploading? <laughs> yeah. like, What's my first video? Yeah. Well, I was my first photo, too. <laughs> <laughs> the real, I'm always Do you ever like, get those people no who are like, way. I've been following you since 1,000? Yeah, and I'm like, like that? What? No, like the, well, the, the last one I, I literally got was literally 10,000. I was like, you're one of my first 10? <laughs> Sometimes people say what? it just to like get your attention. Well, maybe yeah. your, your reaction. I'll call them out. Uh -huh. like, really? What I do? Yeah. Like, I, want well, facts. I want facts. I'm obsessed. Like, I'm going to do that. I'm literally going to freaking do that. I'll be like, really? What was I uploading back then? then? Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't recognize your icon or your name. And I wouldn't. Like, I, I, know. I was no. in it on my first 10. Yeah. I'm like, I know my first 10,000. Mm. I don't remember you. <laughs> yep. I knew all 10,000. I did. We had a group chat. We did. We had a Discord. I'm like, you weren't there. <laughs> you showed up at like, uh, 500? <laughs> you were at a million, I think. People knew me. <laughs> like, ma'am, I had three million followers. <laughs> like, I think this is a little different. Yeah. I'm like, why are you lying? so funny. It's a weird lie, but okay. And so wait, so you started podcasting now too. You have oh, your yeah. podcast, girl. I have girly. a podcast. Mm -hmm. And what's it called? I have Dark History. Ooh. And then I also have Murder Mystery. And what are we So they're both on... podcasts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Murder Mystery gets turned into a podcast. Got okay. It. Dark History is like podcast first, but I also upload it onto YouTube. So it's yeah. Oh, it's yes, cool, yes, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so what is the difference between Dark History and Murder Mystery for our audience? So when I was like researching for Murder Mystery, looking for true crime stories, I would constantly come across history history stories mm -hmm. that like involved mass murder. Oh. Like uh. where I'm like, this isn't true crime. Yeah. 
But like it kind of one is? specific yes. serial killer, but it's a dark history. Yeah. So I was like, it's what if I did a darkness. podcast where it's like these stories that I had wow. no idea about, first of all. Totally. And like um, made it into a podcast. And then it turned into, what if it's a, a video? And then we turned it into a podcast. And I just kind of went down this rabbit hole of all these history stories I've never heard of and wanted to share them. Plus, history is so gatekeepy. Mm-hmm. It is. Like, they make it really hard to understand. A hundred percent. America is always amazing in every history book. Mm-hmm. I was going like, to say, well, it's very like the government so picks what goes in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't blame them. I'm going to pick what pictures I put on my Instagram. Okay. You know? okay. Sure. But like. It is lousy that they don't teach us. But the truth is still the truth. Oh, yeah, Yeah, totally. totally. You know what I mean? The history is what it is. It's like what happened. And like all of my episodes on dark history are stuff that I wish I learned. I'm like, why didn't I learn this stuff? Mm -hmm. A lot of mass murder, a lot of bad things. And I feel like- So educating people, I see. Yeah. But making it understandable. Of course. Conversational. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, like you're sitting down with a friend. I was very bad at history. Me too. Because I had a hard time understanding the things that were being said to me or in the book. And I was like, I just can't do this. Like, I don't I know how to comprehend very history. I was disinterested. That too. You know I just didn't I mean? like it. Boring. They'd use these words Boring. you didn't understand. And you had to remember the dumbest the stuff. Dates. Like yeah. the, a year. Mm-hmm. Like the Boston Tea Party. Uh, yes. Don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what the fuck that is. Still confused. Yeah, I think it really did they, have to do with tea. No, yeah, I think they, they threw, threw tea in the harbor. Yeah. That's all I know Me that too. happened. It's on my dark history list of things to do. I feel like we've done worse things. <laughs> <laughs> we've done like much there's worse. Way more. It's totally. way worse. But like, it's, I agree. I feel like it makes it very like palpable when the way you do it. Mm-hmm. It's That's hard. What I want. That's all I want. I just want people to learn something new. That's I love awesome. learning and. I don't know, maybe that's cute. one person. That's cute? Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> that's very cute of you. It's like, I love learning. So and I'm like, cute. oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love learning. Because <laughs> I'm so like, I'm not like much of a reader or anything. So I'm like, oh, I want to be like that. It's so you cute. can try. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. Like, I love just, that. Like, especially when you're on a date and you're like, yeah, I just read two books. And they're always like, oh my God. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh my God. I'm going to do it for the dates. Yeah, I just got do some it for the dates. For you now. I know. I'm you a reader. do. You're a reader. I know how to read. You do? do you know that? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I heard you're reading like self help books. Mm. Yeah, big into that. Yeah, big into that. I don't know. I like know. also like people's like life story of like successful people because mm-hmm. it's always really interesting. Like it's never like oh I just woke up one morning and did an audition. You know, it's always like ebbs and flows. Mm-hmm. And, it's like, always trauma. It's trauma, and it's Every, always yeah. interesting to read like what they went through and their life journey to get there. So I love that. Yeah, good for you. Well, Reading thank is you. good for your brain. You it is. I, honestly, I do want to do because I'm so scared of getting Alzheimer's. Mm. And I feel like it might be good for your brain to do that. So like, mm. like read and act constantly activate it in some yeah, way. Right? Because our yeah. phones are making us so stupid. Oh my god! That's probably one I'm of the only, one of the few reasons that many reasons that I read. Yeah, is because I'm like the brain cells are leaving immediately, evacuating the building. Yeah. There are times where I swear my brain feels like mush. Yeah, and I'm like, I Same. need to read. Or my eyeballs too. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. like, I looked at my TV, mm-hmm. a screen, a computer, a screen, my phone, a screen. I'm like, when did I look at something that right. wasn't? You a know, screen. so I feel like, and I don't do Kindles or any yeah. of that for a specific reason that I need to get my eyes off a screen. Like mm. I need to turn the page. I like turning a page. Oh, it's a reward. It is. It is. You feel so good. Accomplished. And Ooh, when I'm halfway through that book. <sighs> Don't you ever close it with the bookmarking? You just yeah. look at it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, look at you, bitch. Oh, look yeah. Here. Or I like to look at the, <sighs> um, what's it called? That middle part at the end of the book when it's all creased up. Yep. What is that called? <sighs> binder? The binder. The bind of the book, yep. Yeah, that is what when it's, it's called. all crunched. Yeah, because oh, it's been through cute. It's like a trophy. It is a trophy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I keep it on my shelf. I'm like, I read that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I see that. I keep them all. I keep uh-huh. them all, and I will open my bookcase and be like, I've read all these. Uh-huh. <laughs> when people come over, you read these? Sure oh, yeah. did. I actually have. Yep. That's, cool. that is, that's, that's, really that's cool. an accolade. It's really Because really like, when you say you read, I'm like, damn, that's impressive. Reading is an accolade. At least it is in my head. It is in my head, too. It's an accolade I just don't do it, but it's an accolade. I love telling people I read because I'm like that's one thing I'm impressed by myself by Me okay too. I Me read um, okay we ask every single guest this at the end of every episode so we're gonna ask you if you were given one billion dollars in cash tax free what is the tax big free? Ta- tax free tax free wow. I know mm-hmm. so you get the full billion what's the one item that you're gonna buy what's the big whammo no charity you're already gonna give to charity and family and all that can I buy a big piece of land? Absolutely. Okay, I want to buy sure a big could. piece of land because I want to have my own like pit bull rescue. Oh, my oh God. Yay, me, my that's dog. so cute. A little sanctuary. Are you a dog person? I love big dogs. Time? I love dogs. Do you have any dogs? How many dogs do you have? I don't have a dog. Okay. No, I used to have it. a dog. Mm-hmm. X got him. Got it. Oh. Which is okay. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. 
I cry about it a lot. <laughs> yeah, you're like, it's okay. Um, I'm still not well, but She's it is okay. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I still see photos of them. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. really awesome. But I would love to. I love pit bulls. Mm-hmm. Do you? And they have such a like bad rep. They, really they do. do. They do. They a horrible do. Rep. My last dog changed me. I used to hate mm-hmm. pit bulls. I hated big dogs. Mm-hmm. So I got bit yeah. in the face by one. Almost lost my eye when I was oh a kid. Oh my gosh! That right there is why Trauma. I don't trust any dog. Love them all. We'll pet right. them mm-hmm. all. Totally, but totally. just but this, I it's always scary. and I know that the dogs can sense it. That I'm always I'm a little weary with them because of the amount of stories like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, how old were you when that happened? I was a kid. Spook I was a kid. Still. So I was like older. I was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, hell no. And when that dog showed up, his name is Saint. I was like, you better get rid of him. It's him like or me. Can't, totally. I told my boyfriend. He obviously picked the dog and I was like, fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm saying I too. I was just loving. <laughs> obviously. And you loved him. I fell in love you with him. Love. Oh, he was so special. And the dog never attacked anyone. No. There you go. You're like, well. You're like, hmm. <laughs> well, no. I think he came close a couple of times. Okay. But, you know, he did have some, he needs some training. We tried. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. You know, but he um didn't come from, he didn't have a good background himself. Mm. And it's all about how you raise your dog. A hundred. One. Especially with dogs. Like, and it's yeah. really See, nice. my thing is I never, you never know how people have raised their dog. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Technically. Mm-hmm. So I'm always spooked a little bit. Totally. It's fair. When yeah. It's not your dog. It's scary. Right. Absolutely. Like, he's fine. He's not going to bite. They I say don't know. that I don't every know. time. And they then do. it's on the news. Half a person's lip or nose or eyelids or ears ripped off yeah i'm like Mm-mm, yeah. not about it but i do love dogs yes and i, I want love them. that i just I love animals i'm like too. one of those people just like i like Same. animals i used to be a cat lover but I i'm a on. cat lover look at your cat shirt i just realized you're wearing a cat shirt um but I cats are such little divas absolutely I can't stand them they like are power lesbians. they're dickheads <laughs> <laughs> you know they don't need you they don't need yeah. you yep they're like i came for my food now i'm gonna get the fuck out what do you want it's that's so literally true. how all three of my cats act uh-huh and sure they see is. you and they're like yep they're like mm. he's disappointed yep so sad she's like where's yeah. my snack and all of them like where the fuck's my snack I, yeah i, I, <laughs> I love it there? too I love yeah, it. Yeah, you like it. I like no, it. Because you're I also like very it. independent. And I so the am. cats are very independent. So it's like we get along very well. Yeah. Very well. Yes. So you do your thing over there. You go I'll live. My, yeah. Let I'm me live. itch behind your ears three times a day, pick you up and kiss you on the head, and then go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like dogs because they're needy. Yeah. Very needy. And, and I'm like, oh my God, yeah. I'm a they're always too. happy to see you. They're so happy. And they're grateful. Dogs have this very grateful quality to them that they just like are excited about you. They're grateful to just be in your presence. They want to be touching you most of the time. Like, they have that very like, yeah, it could be the worst human to a dog, oh, which I do not recommend. But you could, love. and they will love you no matter what. I know it like makes me get emotional. You can look at a cat wrong, like it. and it will never let you touch it again. Yeah, no. <laughs> the cat will run away and start a new life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It will pack its and it will slap you in the face. Yeah, it's going to move to the rich neighborhood and just start yep. over. out of there. And I'm like, what good for that, that cat. Yeah, <laughs> they don't put up with anything. <laughs> okay, dogs they always good for it. Yeah. They always say they do. They do. They just love you. Well, this was absolutely lovely. Was Thank you for My favorite me, part was picking your brain on murder mystery. Oh, thanks. And My- I- Love it. I just had to get it all out of you. Mm. I'm like, okay. You're like, this is what we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, got we got her, Manny. We got her. <laughs> we got her. I want to find out all the tea. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I love it. Thank you so much for coming on. No, thank you for having it. It me. So this much was fun. Awesome. I'm bummed. I really wanted to pick your guys' brain about being a content creator. We can do that after. Okay. <laughs> yeah. we, we'll answer I love it. anything you got. Anything you want, we got you. Okay. You guys, but we'll make, of course leave everything yes. down below. Oh, yeah. For Bailey. Sure to check Duh. out Bailey. We'll leave Dark History. We'll leave her podcast, her YouTube channel, and anywhere else to find Todo. her. What'd you say? Everything. That means oh. everything is bad. Todo. 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 Down below. Yeah. Todo down below. So check her out. She's obviously amazing, as you guys saw here first. Thank you. And uh, we'll, we'll catch you, you guys in the next one. Bye, Bye. guys. We love you. Mwah. Mwah.